Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, in the beginning, I would like to invite everybody to share the link and invite your friends to join us. And please let us uh, maintain a good language and uh, Muslims, Christians speak nicely. Uh, remember, each one of you is supposedly trying to present himself as a person who presents his belief. So those who use bad language, obviously, they are not a good uh, people to present who they are, unless their religion is bad. So keep your mouth clean. Don't say bad words and no violent or hateful word to anyone. And for sure, the admins feel free to ban, literally ban, anyone who use a violent or hateful word against anyone. This is nothing personal. This is about religion, not about the people. So we are not here debating about Muslims. We are debating about Islam. The evidence of Muhammad prophethood. As you see, like the Muslim, they claim that Muhammad is the final prophet. But before we go and see if Muhammad is a final prophet or not, shouldn't we see if Muhammad first is a prophet or not? So the Muslims, they have uh, uh, 29 articles here. 29 articles. And those are supposedly evidence of Muhammad prophethood. Before I start, if there is any Muslim who would like to call me and present his proofs as a Muslim about Muhammad being a prophet, please feel free. I will be happy to hear you and you are welcome to call me. Just maintain your language, please, and don't be, be honest. All what we are seeking, some honesty. So as you see here in the front of us, Muhammad have many proofs that he is a prophet. Number one, the seven earths. Okay, we will check that. The prophecies of Muhammad in and the witness of the scholars. Bible, Bible prophecy. The Bible itself prophesy about Muhammad. I mean, what are you talking about? Yes, the prophet Muhammad is in the Bible. Uh, and look how many articles about Muhammad in the Bible. So you look, this is all in the New Testament too. Not only in the Old Testament and New Testament. Uh, Muhammad claimed prophethood. Okay, Muhammad declaimed prophethood part three. Um, uh, uh, miracle of Muhammad, uh, miracles of Muhammad, that's something good. Uh, what is the uh, uh, criteria for a true prophet? I like that. The prophecies of Muhammad, uh, prophecies of Quran addressed uh, to Muhammad, the letter a prophet to the, the letter of the prophet to the emperor of the Byzantine. Okay. That is a prophet. That's proof that he's a prophet. The letter of the prophet to the emperor of the Byzantine, number three, whatever. The news of the past. Hmm. What is the sunnah? What, uh, so this is supposedly what make Muhammad a prophet. Now, how really truthful all what, the, what those uh, articles is about. Who is a Muslim here is willing to give us a call? My Skype is open. Who is a Muslim willing to show me how you can prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet in any way in any mean who want to do that you see I'm trying to avoid to go to a plain text and I prefer to hear someone who have a mouth have a tongue he's a Muslim he's a believer especially if he's a sheikh with a long beard that will be even better let us start with the seven earth seven earthers hmm. let us see what is that description Seven layers of the earth, which uh, scientists have recently discovered, was endued il by the Prophet Muhammad. I mean, this is really amazing. The Prophet, he discovered that there is seven layers of the earth. Hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure that Muhammad, he spoke about the seven layers of the earth? You see here, I will show you a great example about deception and deceiving. And dishonesty uh, <clears throat> whoever takes a piece of land of other unjustly he will sing down the seven earths on the day of resurrection this is was about the seven earths layers inside the earth did he say seven earths or seven like did he mean the same earth or there are seven earthers if we go in the Quran and we will check first uh, we will check the, the layers of the of the earth to see how many there are so we can love together 
But if we go in the Quran, we will find this. Muhammad, he mentioned in the Quran that there are seven skies and there are seven earths. Hold on. In chapter 2, verse 29, it says that Allah, he created seven heavens, seven skies. Seven skies. All right. Now, how many earth Allah, he created? If we go, we will find in different verse, it says the same, that Allah, he created seven heavens, seven skies, and from the earth, the same number. And uh, that will be found in chapter 65, verse number 12. So what Muhammad, he spoke about, it was seven earths. Not the earth have seven layers. And those earths are lined up in the sky. And Allah will take you down to the lowest earth. So Muhammad here is not only proving to us that he is stealing from the Greek mythology, but he is a believer in the Greek mythology. The Greek, they have seven planets. You can go and check the Greek mythology. And those are the one like they call them by the names of their God. Every one of their God have a name of those planet, uh, like Jupiter, as an example, etc. So Muhammad he adopt the same mythology that there is seven skies and there is seven earth. It is he Allah, it is Allah who created seven heavens and the earth of like therefore. They are different earths and they are different heaven, seven heavens, not se the heaven is seven layers. They are seven heavens. And here you notice right away how the deception work. Now, <clears throat> if we go and, uh, and uh, search about the layers of the earth, when the Muslim they say that they discover seven layers of the earth, right? And they are trying to make it like Muhammad he spoke about that when Muhammad was speaking about uh, seven, seven different planets and seven different skies. And those are the creation of Allah, which means this is the whole universe. The whole universe is seven earths and seven heavens. This is what Allah created. That's it. There's no more. Which means Muhammad, he believe that the seven plants which we see in the sky, they are all the creation of Allah. And you know, just to show you that this is not something we say, it is what the Muslim believe. We will go and see what the Muslim they say in their interpretation. Chapter 65, verse number 12. Let us go there. This is the Muslim website, as you see here. <clears throat> we don't do what the Muslims do, trying to explain our Bible up to them. No, we go and check what they, they themselves, their scholars, their tradition, say about this verse, and whatever this the, the you know the scholar says, then it's this is what it's meant. So, God, it is He, it is who created seven heavens and that the earth is the like therefore, that to say seven earths. Do you see it? Do you see the deception? Is it clear? So this was not about the seven earths layers as they claim. It was about seven earths. Actually, even in their translation, it says that. Read carefully. Seven earths. Do you see it? So there is seven earths. I mean, that <laughs> your translation is saying it there. Seven earths. There is seven earths. There is no seven layers of the earth. There is a seven, which means there is seven earth. The layers of the earth is not seven earth. 
Do you see here the deception how they try to imply? And Muhammad is stuck with number seven, as you see. He heard the number seven in the Bible. The Jews, they say number seven. Jesus said number seven. Muhammad, you have to copy the number seven. And this is why Muhammad in the hadith, he says that the one who eats seven ajwa, no poison can destroy him or kill him. Why seven? Here we go. The power of number seven. Always when they say something, you have to examine it yourself. Otherwise, it's very easy to deceive you. So do you see how the seven heavens became in different place? Actually, they even they say that when the Quran says in this chapter, we showed you the Quran says seven earths, they say uh, seven heavens. They say this is the atmosphere. Anyone knows how we, exp you know, uh, expose this lie about the atmosphere? Let me let me find you the atmosphere claim. Hold on. So we can read together. <clears throat> Miracle in the Quran. The atmosphere. Okay, where is the atmosphere? The Qurans speak about the atmosphere. Yes, brother. Read carefully. Uh, let me zoom more in the page. I hope this page will allow me. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> All right. Here the Muslims are trying to teach you what is the atmosphere is. All right. Okay. Where, where, what is the atmosphere? Oh, this is the atmosphere, not the layers of the atmosphere. Uh, I will let me, I will be back to this one, but I want to go to the layers of the atmosphere in the Quran. Just hold on. One by one. <clears throat> Because now we want the layers of the atmosphere in the Quran. Here we go. This is another example of deception and lies. Let us zoom in. The science, the scientific miracle of the Quran, the layers of the atmosphere. It is he who created everything on earth for you. And then he directed his attention to the heaven and he arranged it into seven regular heaven. His knowledge of all things. Chapter 2, verse 29. This is the Muslim translation, not mine, as it is in the website, as you see. Another verse. Then he turned to heaven when it was a smoke in two days and he determined them as seven heavens and revealed in every heaven its own mandate. Chapter 41, verse number 11 and 12, and this is the Muslim translation. And then if you go down, here we go. You have the atmosphere. The atmosphere is seven layers, which is not really too much accurate, but we will let it go. And even about the earth, by the way, it's, it's not true because every every layer is divided to, to layers. It's, they are not really what they are claiming, but we will go with this. Just to show you the deception, I'm not going to touch anything about the atmosphere. Let us assume that it is really seven for both. The earth and the earth layers and the, the, the atmosphere layers. He revealed in every heaven its own mandate. And then the Muslims explain to you that here we go. There are seven uh, layers in the atmosphere. How we can get them busted? Anyone remember? Anyone remember how we can get this busted so easy, so fast? Who remember? Anyone? How we can prove that this is always a lie? Thank you, Greenbird. See, Greenbird is listening carefully. The Quran says that Allah He put the stars in the lowest heaven of those seven heavens. Allah He put the stars. <laughs> you see, the Muslims who made those articles, they are playing the game, the 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 uh, like the game play and work with those who they are ignorant. They do not know much about Islam. So you see this article; it says that like, wow, uh, okay. But look what the Quran says. <clears throat> uh, 
read carefully the same chapter they are quoting for us actually they did not quote this one to hide it this is a chapter 67 verse number five and indeed we adorned the lowest heaven with lamps so if Allah said that he made seven heavens and then we find that the stars are located in the seven heavens and it is in the lowest one now what does that mean that's mean they are lying to us because there is no stars inside the atmosphere so obviously the Quran is speaking about something totally different the Quran claimed that there is seven earths and seven heavens and in the lowest heaven there is only stars and there is there is none and the stars those are Allah he created them as a decoration and to shoot the shaitan in his ass do you see it what is the purpose of those stars read carefully and we have made such a lamp as a missile to drive away the shaitan why Allah is saying to drive the shaitan away who remember let us see how many of you is doing his good homework who, who remember why Allah is shooting shaitan in his ass by the stars anyone remember They are going to spy. Thank you. Here we go. See, we have a uh, smart people here. People they are listening carefully and they are learning. Thank you. So uh, the shaitan, according to the Quran, he tried to spy at Allah. Hmm? And Allah, he showed his ass by a star. And now I will go back to the other article where they are saying that Allah he made the atmosphere to protect the earth you remember we opened the first article we said this is not the one we have we, we will go back to it okay let's go back here we go uh, this is not the one which one hold on yeah here we go look here they say to us in chapter 21 verse number 30 Allah he made the sky protected roof But guys, if you read carefully, it says, we made the sky protected roof. The sky itself is the one is protected, not the earth is protected. Protected from who? You see, they quote for us the verse, they do not show us the rest. Because if they read the rest, we will see it's something cartoonic, funny, Mickey Mouse story about Allah shooting shaitan in his ass if he tried to spy at Allah. How we can prove that? Let us go to the Quran. Here we go. <clears throat> Indeed, we have put the biggest stars in the heaven and we will be to fight for beholder and we have guarded it. Which one? The lowest heaven. Do you see? Between, this is the Muslim translation, not my translation. The near heaven, the one most close to us, huh? From every outcast shaitan, except him, devil, that gains hearing by stealing, he pursued by a clear flaming fire. Star Wars, George Bush. The Star Wars of Allah. And Shaitan like, I, I look, I, you mean Shaitan? You know, Shaitan is calling his friends. We, 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 maybe, maybe I get injured. Allah, he shot me in the ass. Maybe, maybe, like what the heck? This is religion and this is science. So they try to make it about atmosphere when the fact it's a cartoon. Shaitan, he tried to spy at Allah. Shaitan live in the earth. Shaitan, he go in the space. The second he go out, Allah showed him by a star. And this is how Muhammad, he explained what he see in the sky in the desert, that there's a star is coming. He think it's a real star coming, but this is not. This is a meteor. 
So Muhammad he thought that those meteor is Allah shooting the ass of the devil. So do you see how they make their their cartoon a science? Do you see how they fabricate and they flip the truth upside down? This is this is this is the science and this is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet. And not only that, actually, the verse after it says Allah He made the earth as a flat. What does that mean? Allah He made the earth flat. And he he plays in the top of it mountains like hold on the God of the Quran he think that he made the earth flat and not only that he think that the mountains are special uh, kind of uh, stones Allah he plays on the top of the earth so do you see the deception this is very good to make a cartoon movie. Actually, I I wish I have like a good skills to make a cartoon. I, I don't I don't have a uh, you know that skills to make a. There's some software they make uh, cartoons that would be fantastic about a god who is teaching his followers that shaitan he tried to spy at Allah and then Allah he shot him in his ass. And actually, this is why I did not go right. I mean, to the I was thinking to go last weekend. Uh, to the sky, but I said to myself, what about Allah? He showed me, you know, especially uh, after waiting for more than a year saving money, I bought a new jeans. I don't want to burn that jeans. I wish I saved the old jeans, but it ripped off. So now I have to wait until this jeans is like, is going to be damaged and then I can risk it. So do you see how they fabricate science to make you believe that the Quran is a book of science and Muhammad must be a prophet? My friend, this is a cartoon. This is not even fit for a cartoon. Once I was speaking to a girl, she is like six, seven years old. Uh, you know, uh, we saw a broom. So I said, this is the magical broom. She said, you think I'm stupid? There's no magic. She is like six, seven years old. I could not convince seven years old with the broom of magic of Harry Potter. And she said to me, do you think I'm stupid? There's no such a thing. So you want to convince who that this is a prophet of God who speak about science? Who is a Muslim who truly believe in what we see in the front of us? That shaitan, he tried to steal information from Allah and Allah, he showed his bum. Yeah, absolutely. Allah is holding the sky from holding us. Allah not only holding the sky from holding uh, from fearing us the, the Quran claim uh, what what is me what is holding the birds from falling on us who knows what is holding the birds from falling on us anyone knows Allah Allah why why birds don't fail on us because Allah is holding them oh, look. don't they see the birds healed in the midst of the sky none hold them, hold them but Allah do you see it so question who is the one is holding f16 in the sky Allah okay f35 Allah, the MiG, uh, Allah, uh, the Russian airplanes, uh, Allah, okay, uh, Rafael, the French one, uh, Allah. Who is the one is holding Boeing, Boeing, Boeing seven 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 in the sky? Allah. It's not the engine. Forget about the engine. There's no need for engine. It's Allah is holding it.
This is this is Muhammad. And the funny, uh, the Muslim, when they translate, like here, Allah says, and Allah is the one who brought you out from your mother's stomach. The Quran translated as womb. But the word in Arabic is button. How the word button became a womb? Button is either the stomach or the belly. So you notice here, that they are trying their best to fool you. You see what what is making this making it making this disgusting. There is no honesty. Deception is allowed. Not only allowed, it's encouraged. Because all what we saw until now, which is trying to prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet, is far away from what Muhammad said. From what Muhammad meant. And now look like they start giving you numbers uh, the sold inner core of the earth is 1.7 percent blah 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 what would this have to do with the so do you see how they lie to you this is why we cannot trust we cannot trust i cannot trust really any muslim trying to explain islam to me bible prophecies about muhammad Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, a Bible prophecy about Muhammad. Where? Are you sure? He said, brother, I'm very sure, but I thought the Bible is corrupt, brother. Look here. <clears throat> Long article. When it come to them, when it come to them, a book, the Quran from Allah not from God confirming that which is was with them look at the first translation it says what is with them not was with them okay and what is the prophecy about your prophet in the Bible I don't see it where anyone show textual variation what what is that where is where is the prophecy about your prophet I'm gonna read it I don't see anything nothing what version? Your prophet cannot be found in any of our Bible except when the Bible speak about evil and false prophets. There is a there is a very easy way in the according to the Bible to find out if somebody he is a prophet or not. A prophet who speak in the name of other God and Muhammad he spoke in the name of other God. Allah is not the God of the Christians or the Jews. Some they will say, oh, Christian Bibles they are using in the Middle East and the Arabic translation, the word Allah. But this is a false translation, my friend. Allah is not our God and I am an Arab. Allah is the pagan God of the Arab, the desert. And this God is exist long before Muhammad. Uh, we have a Muslim here, his name, uh, Mirza. Uh, Mirza saying in Isaiah 42, Okay, I will show you uh, Mr. Mirza. You can call me Mr. Mirza if you want. Uh, uh, so you can read for us uh, Isaiah 42. And so we can see if this is true or not. And here we will show you a great example about how Muslims are being deceived by their own people. The first one who deceived Muslims is Muslims. So this person you saying, okay, Muhammad is in Isaiah 42. Did you read Isaiah 42? Did you read it? I'm sure you did not. Because if you read Isaiah 42, my friend, and let me play the audio of Isaiah 42 so everybody can see that this is nothing but a comedy. cannot be true. Obviously, Muslims are not reading their books, and they are not reading our book. Isaiah 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. So who is the one who say, Allahu Akbar, scream so you can terrify the infidels, the one who scream left and right, kill them wherever you find them. But this person is not, uh, is very 
peaceful as you see here. He, he, even his voice. Uh, continue. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flat. How many? How many human being their neck he cut? How many human being Muhammad their neck he cut? How many hands? How many fingers? How many feet? How many women he raped? How many trees he burned? Let me show you. You see here, we don't like to talk before we continue. Hmm. Let us see. This is your prophet. Is that your prophet or my prophet? The prophet, after he killed the Jews tribes, he not only he killed them, he dig in their graves and he burned their trees. And he cut it down. But we just heard that this person, he will not even cut a tree. Are you there, Mr. Mirza? Mr. Mirza, how are you? Are you there? And the funny, the Muslims, they have videos about the Prophet. Uh, he was a gr uh, uh, go green. The Prophet, he forbid Muslims from cutting grass and cutting trees, brother. The Prophet was burning towns, burning houses, burning even trees, and even he dig in their, in, 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 in their, in their graves. Anyone why knows why he dig in their graves? Why somebody will dig in the grave of somebody? Anyone? Read, uh, read uh, Abdul. And this is Sahih. Don't tell me this is not Sahih. I will be really upset if you say not Sahih. Please don't say this is not Sahih. Please don't go. Huh? The mosque of Prophet was built in the land of Bani Najjar, which contained the crops and palm trees and the graves of disbelievers. The Messenger of Allah said, Sell it for me in the same price, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then what he did, he cut the palm trees, he cut it off, and he removed the graves. The Muslim, they say, uh, we Muslims, we respect the graves of others. Why are you? And the graves of the disbelievers, he, he dug open it. Why you dug open it? Because he's looking for money with them. This is a graveyard. People they bury with them their expensive stuff. The family members they leave with them, like a, he have a golden uh, knife. They leave it with him. This is his knife. They have uh, for sure at that time there's no iPhone and watch, so they leave with him something expensive, something personal. But the Muslims they just said to us that Muhammad is in Isaiah. But look what Isaiah is saying. So obviously Muhammad did not fit from the beginning. You see? You see how easy to prove the lies? Let us continue. Shall he not quench? <laughs> he shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth and the isles shall wait for his law. Isn't it Muhammad he tried to commit suicide by, by throwing himself on the top of the mountain? Isn't it Muhammad who he said that Allah said to him, if you have a doubt about me being a prophet as the Christians, all of this is against Muhammad. Saith God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it and spirit to them that walk therein. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, hmm. to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, 
and then that sit in Muhammad he brought out from the prison or, or Muhammad he put people in prison I mean this is really this is really a stupid thing and then they will say to you let us continue darkness out of the prison house I am the Lord that is my name and my glory will I not give to another neither my praise to graven images behold the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord, and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Any Muslim who, uh, uh, Reza, do you want to call me? Uh, Reza, do you want to call me? The one who said to us, read this. Do you like to call us? Who is a Muslim like to call us and tell us how he discovered that Muhammad is an Isaiah? Hmm? Anyone? Uh, one of the funny videos they say to you that do you know that Kedar is uh, close to Mecca or Mecca? That's false, my friend. This is Kedar is very close to that, that area. You see, it says the people of the rock. Anyone knows what is the people of the rock? Who is the people of the rock? Those, the Nabataean. Like today, there is a city, it's called Petra, the city of Petra. This is far away from Mecca. So they do their best to insert Muhammad anywhere they can. They are so desperate. Secondly, as you see, Muhammad, he don't fit to be a prophet anyway, because he made many lies, and we just showed you many of them. That the stars are in the lowest heaven, and Allah, he showed the star in the shoot shaitan when he tried to go out of the heaven, and this is his explanation for what we see of shooting stars. He think they are really stars, and he think those are the stars which Allah, he made them to guard the sky. Any Muslim have anything to say? Anyone? Can you put English translation? Translation for what? We have it in English in front of you. Any Muslim have any argument? You see, I don't want to. I want to give you a chance to prove me wrong. Any Muslim have something to say? Anyone? Where is, where is the Muslims? So look what happened. They could not prove their prophet to be a prophet from their books. They are trying to prove Muhammad is a prophet in our book. And how you know that this is Muhammad? How you know that this is Muhammad? Is that because he broke no uh, branches? When we showed you that he, not only he break branches, he break the necks of people. He's a criminal. He's a rapist. Any Muslim? Uh, Mr. Justice, he is saying you are desperate uh, to disapprove Islam. There is 18 prophecies about Muhammad. Okay, why you don't call me and show me the 18 prophecies so that we can we can enjoy it together? 
Guys, do you think Mr. Justice, he is brave enough to call us and show us the 18 prophecies about your prophet? And before you go and show me the 18 prophecy of your prophet, how your prophet, he says such a stupid thing in the Quran, that shaitan, Allah will shoot him in his ass if he try to spy at Allah. This is what the prophet do. So let us say, let us say there's a prophecy, the Muslim trying to find it in the Bible. And it is about their prophet as they claim. What kind of a prophet he think that really in heaven there is somebody, his name is Allah. And if shaitan he tried to get close to the earth, Allah will shoot him in his ass. Hmm? Any Muslim? Look at them how quiet they are. So they have big mouth to talk about prophecies in the Bible, but the second we say to them, okay, explain to us this, because this is a prophecy. This is a prophecy. Muhammad prophesying about something no, no one knows about how the sky is functioning. What is the what is the beauty of the stars? Why God, he created them supposedly. So you're a prophet is a prophet. Okay, how a prophet who Allah told him that he says such a stupid thing. Are you there, Mr. Justice? And what kind of shaitan Allah is going to uh, shoot him? The shaitan who steal information from Allah. Well, how Allah can, how shaitan can spy at Allah? Any Muslim? This is this is religion, and this is God. Indeed, we have but. By the way, it doesn't say the biggest stars. That's false. This doesn't say big stars. Burujan. You know, the Buruj, what they call them in English? Like somebody is uh, the Zodiac. You know Zodiac? You know what the Zodiac? Right? So Allah speaking about this. He says, Allah, he put those Zodiac, and they are like the stars on them, as, uh, you know, for, for beautification. Of the for the beholder, but this is stupid because what a human being I can see of the stars is not even one of billions compared to what is in the sky. So if the reason for the sky to be there as a beautification, as the as the Quran said, that is stupid. Secondly, and we have guarded the near heaven from the every cast uh, outcast shaitan, the devil, except him that he gain hearing by stealing information. Okay. How shaitan is how heaven is guarded yet shaitan he can steal information why is that a, is that a weakness of the security of Allah do you think Allah he have to update his security cameras his security what happened where are you uh, mr. justice here we go we have a prophet this is a prophet he says shaitan he tried to steal information Allah shoot his ass Okay, is that a talk of a prophet or this is a guy in Mickey Mouse cartoon? So you can play all the games, say this verse in the Bible is about Muhammad, this verse. There's no verse in uh, the only verses about Muhammad in the Bible is about many like Muhammad, the false prophet. Jesus says, be aware of false prophet. They will come to you in a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. Where are you, Mr. Justice? Are you there? A prophet who give false prophecy is a false prophet. This is a false prophecy. Who here from the Muslims agree that Allah, he shoot shaitan, and this is what the stars we see in the sky for? Who is a Muslim agree with this? Who is a brave Muslim? He say, I agree. Malik Hassan, Ahsan Ali, how are you, Mr. Malik? What, Malik, what do you want? Chapter 16, 6, uh, 7 to 8, 17, 18. What is that? Who is a Muslim agree with the Quran? I want to see one a brave Muslim. He liked the Quran and he agree that this is true. Anyone? So none of you agree?
if any Muslim is proud about Muhammad's statement in the Quran that Allah he shoot shaitan by stars I want you to call me immediately please who is willing to do so anyone and look all the Muslims they are now quiet so what happened to Muhammad in the Bible so the Muhammad the one in the Bible he says this hello hello guys I want to tell you a story but this is between us but please don't tell anyone you see like I have a special connection with shaitan because the Christian the Muslims they say that Christian Prince he is supposed to supported by shaitan so shaitan inform me brother the Muslim record this uh, that he, last time he tried to spy at Allah so he got like 50% of his hard drive and he got the pictures of the three daughters of Allah and in his way Allah shoot his ass and the the friend the brother shaitan uh, he is uh, he went to the special uh, like uh, uh, like uh, I know like a hospital because he was really burned badly but uh, thanks to Allah he survived because look like the Allah weapon is not really working good when shaitan he steal information do Allah kill him or just burn his ass well he, he stole the information already so what kind of security he have we have a caller let us see yeah, how are you, Abbas? Yeah, hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, Abbas. Uh, yeah. Somebody, you, somebody, you made, ask, uh, somebody made a video. So, uh, Abbas, somebody made a video about you saying that uh, they are arrogant and they got you busted. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Yeah, because uh, they, 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 they have you there saying that and it's recorded. So you better watch it and laugh. Anyway, what do you want to say, Abbas? Uh, yeah, well, I'm proud of Muhammad Sallallahu statement. Every single statement of his, I'm proud. Okay, uh, do, you, one, do you agree? Do you about agree? The stars. Hmm. The one you asking a question about this uh, shooting star hmm. and Satan is uh, uh, Satan's are afraid of that. First of all, let me correct you. It's not a prophecy. It's, it's just a fact. He's saying it's not a prophecy. It's not that he's saying it's going to happen in the future. Okay. He just say that happens. No, but this it's is a, so, no. This is a prophecy. So right, Let me tell you right. It's not a prophecy. Hold on, hold on. If if somebody tell me something nobody knows except somebody else, that is a prophecy. Don't you agree? No, no, it's not prophecy. It's just a fact. No. Nobody knows that fact, but it's somebody's telling you. Thank you. This so is prophecy, right prophecy now. is not necessarily is about something will happen. The prophecy is about something unknown to human being except by oh. God telling a prophet what it is. So this is a prophecy about what does happen in the sky. Now, let me ask you now. You are saying that Allah, he shoot shaitan by a star. How do you say you are proud about that? First of all, first of all, you're wrong again. Prophecy is something which happened in the future and you're telling people that's going to happen. Prophecy is not what happened in the past and what's happening right now. That's not prophecy. Hmm. That's just a fact which people don't know. So get your facts okay. right. So this I is not my English, so, my English is so is it, your is it English okay? Is really poor. Prophecy, prophecy according to Abbas is a fact, and uh, it's not a fact nobody knows. So this is what we call it. What? What we call it now? No, no, no. I say prophecy is something which is going to happen in future. Okay, no problem. And somebody okay, is no, no. somebody's telling in advance. Okay, so, so get your facts right. Okay, let me ask you. So did Shaitan already? Did Shaitan already? Hold on, hold you, on. Did Shaitan already try to spy, or this is in the future? The first, sorry, Shaitan is doing it all the time. Shaitan is doing all the from time. the time immemorial. Okay, so how come Shaitan is doing it all the time and Shaitan don't die? No, well, what is saying that they, that the shooting stars are to scare them. So Satan scare the, them. The, the okay, devil. hold on, hold on. First of all, where is the shooting stars? Where, where is the I'm shooting asking. stars? Where it says shooting stars? They are in the space, of course. The shooting stars are here. It says the stars, not shooting stars. Shooting stars are meteor. Shooting stars are meteor. Right. 
But this is not mature. Those are stars. Shooting stars are not mature. So what they what are? are talking about? So what they are? No, shooting, shooting stars. They they are just stars. They just go around in the galaxy in a very high speed. Okay, no, no, no. We are they talking just, about. Let me make they, it clear for you. They, they maybe, just you are, move maybe you are confused. Muhammad, Muhammad is talking. Earth. Muhammad is talking about shaitan. Shaitan, he live in the earth. So Muhammad, he sees something in the sky falling down, and that for him is a shooting star. This is what? No, 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 no. no. The, the Satan and those uh, the okay. spirits. Let me let they, me. They can, uh, they can, they can travel. You know, Abbas, they can Abbas, travel. you force me they always. Can uh, they can travel out in the space. Okay. And now you have. So, so you what have it is? So what it is? Is it a star or not? Are you going to let me speak or not? Is it a star or not? You are, you are, you are like a kid, you know. Well, you don't let like me see who's the kid. Is it a, is it a star or not? What? Oh yeah, it is a star. Yeah, okay. and shooting star. So, but shaitan star. he live inside the earth. How Allah he shoots shaitan who live inside the zone of the earth. He cannot leave the zone of the earth. How he shoot him without destroying the earth? It's a star. Do you know how big the star? Okay, hang on a minute. You say shaitan live in the earth, yeah? Yes. What is the address? Give me his address. Well, don't you Muslims you go throw seven stones to, uh, to the house of shaitan oh, 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 in the Kaaba? Oh, oh, give me his address. Give me his address. Now, Christopher is going to give us the address. Listen, of listen, man. listen. You see, here we go. Uh, 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 Abbas is playing as a kid. Give me the address. You are being silly. You give me the address because it's, it's, it's you, your Muhammad. You, it's your Muhammad. Hold on. Let me put the picture of the house of Shaitan next to the Kaaba in the in in Islam. This is not in my religion. In your religion, Shaitan is living in Mecca. Is that true or not? Oh, I see. Like your God live in the uh, answer. The don't government. answer. Don't don't play your games. Do you do you do you Muslims <laughs> throw seven rocks at the house of Shaitan in in Mecca? Yes or no? That's just a monument. It's just uh, for the remembrance what Abraham did. What Abraham did? So so they so there there is no Shaitan. Satan is everywhere. He can be everywhere. Okay, hold on. So, 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 hold on, hold on. So, you are saying to me that Abraham he throw rocks at the Shaitan there? That time, Satan appeared to him in that in place. The presence of okay, let us yes, say Shaitan he appeared to him in that place. Why you Muslims? Why why he appear in the same city of Allah, uh, uh, the city of Allah, in the holy city? What, what, what Satan is not bound not to you know in even in the Kaaba in the middle of the Kaaba mm. people still there there are signs there that be careful of thieves okay listen now, listen listen let us let us, go, let us go let us go let us go let there. us go to your now, request what? let us go to your request you are the one who says to me Shaitan is in the earth Satan give me his address you said to Satan me give me his address let me ask you is Shaitan is in the earth or not Satan can be everywhere okay can, can, can he be out of the he earth can, can, can he be he can out be of the can he be out of the earth? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, he can be out All of right. the earth as well. And remember, what, because this guy, he will say later, he will say, I did not say that. He just said, yes, he can be out of the earth. Absolutely. Do you mean he can be uh, out in the space? Yes or no? And out, out of the earth, out of the zone of the earth? Yes or no? You said yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you. Hmm. You, to, you said already to, yes. My, you said already yes. Uh, I'm answering you. Yeah. Why always yes and no? Are you still a terrorist? You yes said already no? yes. Explain to me. Just give me more details. You said already yes. I'm not waiting you for no, you no. to say yes. I I am I am saying. Look, hmm. I I am as a Muslim. I have no problem if I'm, I'm proven wrong. If you prove me wrong, fine. But to my knowledge, Satan is a force, and he can be out of the space, out of, out in the space, and he can be. I that that's my understanding right now. All right. I'm not going to quote you where the Quran says or not. But if you prove me wrong, I have no problem accepting you wrong. But uh, the thing is, even if if he's going trying to going out of the uh, on the in the space with the shooting stars, he can be scared and he do not go out. All right, hold on, hold on. You see, but you already you said uh, the shaitan he can be. He's not in the earth. You are the one who said that. I said to you okay. how shaitan he can be sh shot by a star, but he live in the earth without destroying the earth. No, no, no. You say he lives in the earth. That's what he yes, said. Yes, he lives in the earth. He cannot not, go out of the earth. He cannot read the Quran. Read the Quran. Read the Quran. Exactly. So you, you, are an you are an official ignorant. Read the Quran. Chapter 55, verse number 33. Allah is challenging mankind and shaitan to go out of the earth if they can. What do you say then? Finish the verse. Read it. Finish the verse. What? Read go it. Ahead. Read it, read it, you read it. Go no, ahead. No, you just said, you, 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 you read Allah the saying, words. Allah is saying, Ya ma'ashara jinna wal ins in istata'atum an tanfudu min atar al-samawati wal ard fanfudu la tanfuduna illa bi sultan. Now, Ru, go ahead. 
No, no. Read the whole words in English. I did. So everybody can understand. I did. Finish it's, the word. It's your Finish problem. The, you don't know English. In English. So why you don't in read? A, why you don't read for us so we can laugh? Okay, I can tell you. This okay. verse is. I'm mm. telling by my memory. Yeah. Mm. It says without the permission of Allah, they cannot go out without the permission Thank of you. Allah. So, and you know what? Uh huh. So you know that. What, did, okay. Did, did Allah give a permission? You, Allah did Allah give a permission to the shaitan to get out? Let me explain. You know what you just did mm. by the will of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Subhanahu wa Taala. Mm. Allahu Akbar Kabira. What you just did? You you have read the verse which actually has a prophecy. It's amazing prophecy in this verse. Okay. It's talking about the space travel for humankind, okay. which no one could ever imagine. Mm. This verse is actually telling us. The without the permission of Allah, no one can go out of the space, and now it never says that no one can ever go out of the space. It says, mm. Yes, without the permission of Allah, you can't go out. Okay, so then, this is okay, actually okay. Hold on, uh, guys, uh, we, we, heard, we heard Abbas. Listen to this. He heard Abbas, he is saying, He is saying now, according to him, that Allah He gave shaitan and a human being to go out of the space. Is that what you're saying? I say without the permission of Allah. No, 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 no make it clear. Did he? Did, okay. Did Allah give a permission? Did Allah give a permission to the shaitan and to the? Uh, oh, listen, one by one. Did Allah give a permission? Either you say yes or no. Okay. What we know now, we know that humans being went out of the space, hmm. so they got the permission. Hmm. Now about the jinns, we cannot say for surety they got the permission or not. But even if they go out in the space. Can they go out as far as to know what the Quran is and the way the angels are above the, the second heaven or the third okay, heaven? Let me expose where you, Abdul. The, where, the, where, the, where the revelations okay, are. Let me expose verse. you. Let me expose you, Abdul. You are an ignorant as yeah. usual. The verse after it, it says, if you try to do so, Allah will shoot your ass by fire and by copper. Read it. No, no, no. It didn't say ass. Wait, why are you putting words in the Quran? Not, it say okay, ass. not ass, so what? Shoot him with. Just read the verse. Okay, read here we go. You said to me, you said to me, yes, Allah, He gave a permission to the man and to the genie. And the proof, and according I, to you, the proof, according to you, already a human being went out of the space. But Allah is saying, if you try to do that, Allah will send against you both smokeless fire, flame of fire, melted brass of copper, and He will burn you. So why are you are lying? Read, read the verse. Read the verse. It's in the Don't front of you. Words. Stop saying to me, read the verse. I am not on YouTube. I'm not watching YouTube. Okay. No problem. I'm Open talking. chapter five, verse number thirty-five. <laughs> chapter five, you say, or fifty-five? Mm. Chapter fifty-five, verse number thirty-five. Okay. Just give me a minute. There are many prophecies of Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Deuteronomy eighteen is full no of that. No problem. No problem. I, I Here we go. Focus in the prophecy which Muhammad he said from his mouth, not somebody else. Stop playing games. Now you say it. Everybody heard you that yes, it's a proven that a human being was able to go out of the uh, of the zone of the earth And obviously that's yeah. mean Allah he gave him permission But Allah is saying you cannot go out and if you try to do so Allah will shoot your ass by a smokeless flames Which mean very very hot flame of fire and melt them breast of copper and he will destroy you Okay, I'll read it so 5533 was the first one about 5535 now yeah yeah 5533 was a space travel prophecy <laughs> so uh, <laughs> i'm going to read yeah, yeah, yeah keep laughing like that uh oh company of i'm, I'm reading the context now okay oh company mm. of jinn and men mm. if you have the power to go beyond the bounds of the heavens and the earth mm. go beyond them yet you will not be you will be unable to go beyond them for that requires infinite power. Which mm. of your Lord's powers will you twain, you men and jinn, then deny? Mm. Um, a flame of fire and smoke shall be lashed to you, which you shall be unable to withstand. Which of your Lord's of this is not the verse what the prophecy is about. The prophecy which says that without the permission of Allah, that's some other verse. What are the so verse? Now this one is talking. This what is, is the verse. This is, is the verse about. after it. This is the verse about if you try to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot you by a flame. Both of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So understanding is here is without if you don't have the permission, this will happen to you. But ah, if you, have if you don't have a permission, no, he is saying you don't have a permission. Okay, let the Abbas, let me get you busted in front of everybody. Which scholar you agree to read the interpretation of this verse? No, 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 no. 
This is not the verse of the prophecy. Listen, Allah. listen, Allah. listen, listen. No, this is the verse of the prophecy because you said that this is about a travel future for space, right? This is the prophecy that a human being will go to the space. The fact is the opposite. It says that all men, assembly of men and jinn, I challenge you, I challenge you to go out of the zone of the, the earth and the heaven if you can, but you cannot except with my authority. I, and the authority here I, is about your prophet himself when he went to the journey in the top of a flying donkey. Do you know that the Quranic verses, uh, this uh, same verses repeat many different times. Abdul, the, no, problem, no problem, no problem. This is why we are showing you. This is why we are showing you different verses here. The different verses that Allah is saying that if you try to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot you. And as you see in the verse saying, both of you, both of you, Allah is going to shoot. So this is not only for the man. This is not only for the genie. Both of them, if we try to go out of the of, of the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot you. Now, if we go to the interpretation, hold on, Abbas, let us not to play games. Those are the ones, let us not to play games. Abbas, Abbas, Abbas. Can we those read the, the interpretation? The Abbas, please, Abbas. Can we read the interpretation? Which yeah. interpretation do you yeah, about this verse, read the interpretation fine, but I'm, I'm talking about the one Allah said without no problem. We will read Allah. both, we will read both. Which one? I'm looking for that one. That verse, you are you looking for that one. What do you mean, looking for that one? What interpretation you like me? Okay, let me open Ibn Kathir because always you ask me for Ibn Kathir. Is that fine? 3355, you're talking about it. Yeah? Okay, is it okay if I open Ibn Kathir? No, because no, no, always sorry. you ask me, no, no. always you ask me for Ibn Kathir. Now, wh why you don't want Ibn Kathir? Do you want Ibn Kathir or not? Uh, I always say, yeah, Ibn Kathir is fine, but okay. you always would continue. So, uh, hold no, on. No, okay, so let us see what I'm Ibn Kathir so, says. I'm what do you think? Gonna, let us see what Ibn I'm Kathir is. Okay, you don't like I'm Ibn Kathir? <coughs> Listen, you don't like Ibn like, Kathir, yes or no? Do you like Ibn like Kathir, yes or no? Uh, Ibn Kathir is very good, of course. All right, here we go. Ibn Kathir, guys, Ibn Kathir is very good. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. I did not even open it. This is your Muslim translation. All right, here we go. Here, let us see what it says. Oh, assembly of jinn of and man, you if you are able to pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth, then pass beyond them. But you will never be able to pass them except with the authority from Allah. This is a translation now, meaning you will never be able to pass to escape Allah except. orders and degrees because read it. You will never be able, you will never be able to avoid the avert of his rule and judgment over you. You are surrounded by whatever you may be. And also, this is gathering when the angel compromising seven. And then he says, Illa bi Sultan. Let's read what you are saying here. Except with the authority, meaning except by the command from Allah. So Allah have to give a command. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, on uh, one day, one day, one uh, on that day, man will say, where is the refuge to flee? No, there is no refuge into the Lord of Allah. So nobody will be able to refuse. No one, no exception. And here it says, he continue, and those who they earned, uh, uh, there will be sent against you both, shawaz of nar, which means like a, 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 a very hot fire uh, from made from copper, and you will not be able to defend yourself. Ali ibn Ali Abi Taha reported from Ibn Abbas that shawaz is a flame of fire, and then he says. It's the flame from above the fire below uh, below the smoke and then he says we continue and even he will use copper Abu Talha he reported that the smoke of fire similar reported to us uh, Abu Talha blah 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 Jabber said that the Arab used to call the smoke fire smoke it's called fire remember that because we will talk about it later so now look uh, and and you will never be victorious so Allah never allowed anyone to go out of the zone of the earth is that it? Yeah, this is the this is the tafsir in front of you. You just waffle a lot, you know that. You just waffle and waffle well, and waffle. Do you, you see here? Do you see here? That anyone? Is? Any? Does it say that you will not be able to escape Allah? So when it says without the permission of Allah, what that means? Okay, who if is the one? Never, okay, did did Allah? Never, okay, did Allah, Allah give a permission? Did, Allah gave a permission only to His prophets to go to heaven, and He named only Jesus and Muhammad. Yes or no? Is that the is that the tafsir says that? Uh, uh, tafsir okay, tafsir. I will show you the tafsir saying that. I'm asking you, say yes or no. Challenge me. Okay. Show me no, no, and no. 
Allah did come to give permission to human beings to go in the space as well. But what you Allah he gave the permission to human being to go in the space. Where we can find that? That's why we understand. This is this is the prediction Allah is, is telling. Look, the Muhammad says that fourteen hundred years ago, talking mm. to a Bedouins, the Arabs, the one mm. camel herders, they could not even possibly imagine to go into the space. Let uh, go into space. They couldn't even imagine to fly. Okay. So what Muhammad says I'm saying here, he should have just said to them. No one can go, and everybody will believe. Of course, it's impossible. But mm. he didn't say that. No, he, he didn't say no that because he go. told them already. He because he no. told them already, no. he took a flying donkey and he went to heaven. Because if nobody can go, that's mean himself he cannot go. No one can go without the permission of Allah. All right, no so problem. Who is the one who get the permission of Allah? If there is anyone beside no. Muhammad and Isa, if there is anyone beside Allah and the Isa, not according to the Quran and Hadith, but since Allah prophesied this. Mm. So, uh, give prophecy. We know that people are traveling in the space. Okay. No, 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 okay. You know what? Let's, let's go. Let's that. go one by one. Let's uh, go one. Go one by one. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. When Allah he says, "Human being and genie, you cannot go out of the zone of the earth without my permission." Isn't Thank it Allah? Right. Isn't it Allah? Ah, hold on. Isn't it Allah who ordered Shaitan and genie to go down to earth, and He says to them, "Do you stay there forever?" Saying, look, we we still stay here. Humans are still staying here, but we travel in the space. We travel, travel in the space. In the space the, so Allah, that's, space, okay, that's mean, mean that mean Allah. The, okay, the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. When Allah He said to Shaitan and to Adam, "Get down." Yeah. Get down where? That's you going some different topic now. I can. No, 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 that, no, 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 no. I'm not getting different topic. He told them, "Get down, get down where." Okay, now um, there are different difference of opinion. Some Muslims do believe, actually, majority of Muslims, they b do believe they were in paradise, and from paradise come down to the earth. Okay, but there is so another thought. When Allah another He said thought. to them, "You go down thought. to the earth," is that, a, is that a penalty? Is that a penalty Let or me, reward? So there is no other finish. earth. Okay, Allah said to them, "Get down." Did He say to them in another place in the Quran, "Get up"? I haven't finished. Mm. I and I, I am of the opinion which is the other opinion. The other, other Don't opinion tell me other is, opinion. Tell me your opinion, my friend. You are the scholar here. You yeah. are the big scholar. No, no, so, no, 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 no. Tell me your opinion. Don't, 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 don't play the game of different opinion. This is what the Muslims they do. They start to confuse you. There's many different opinion. There is many opinion. Tell me the opinion which is convincing for you. Don't tell me different opinion. Allah He yeah, told yeah, uh, Allah He told Adam and Shaitan and Eve to get down. Did Allah ever say to them get up? So this was a penalty. If you let me answer, mm. can Go I answer? Ahead. Okay. You just uh, so desperate to win, isn't it? <laughs> well, we are winning always. People are laughing. People are dying at you laughing. You are saying that Allah, when He challenged people to go out of the zone of the earth, this is a prophecy about a space of uh, uh, a trip. When the fact He's saying the opposite, and if they try to go, Allah will shoot their ass, both of them. The verse after it says right away in the front of your eyes that it says both of you, both of you, if you try to go out of the zone of the, zone of the earth. Allah will shoot you. Does it say both or it say one? Okay. Okay. I, I, I follow the opinion that there was not paradise where they came down from. They were still on, they're already on the earth, but they were up in the gardens. Okay. Some, hold on, guys. Hop, did this guy, hop, this, hop, did this guy, he said that the heaven of Allah was in the earth? That, that place where they were gardens, where they were, which, uh. because paradise not necessarily mean heaven. Mm. Okay. Paradise could be uh, the place of beauty. Place a very nice place, high garden. So I, I'm of the opinion <coughs> they were on the earth at that time. And Allah said, "Get down from here." Which, from there, okay, which, those, which those, is those gonna agree with this? Which scholar agree with me? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I think I'm, if I'm not wrong, I think Maududi has this kind of Maududi? explanation. Maududi, uh, who's Maududi? Yeah, Maududi yeah, is a yeah, scholar. No, no, no. Maududi no, is a scholar. Maududi is a scholar. Maududi is a scholar. Maududi has um, a very good student called <laughs> Listen, Abdul, listen. Let me let me let me ask you. If I show you your prophet saying the opposite that heaven was in heaven and it's not in the earth, are you going to follow Maududi or you follow your prophet? I follow my prophet, of okay, course. Okay, so how come you quote for me the Maududi? Are you saying to me you are an that, ignorant idiot? That that's why I give you two. You no, know, are you sir? saying to me you are an ignorant but idiot? Am, you I heard about Maududi. You heard about Maududi, what he explained this verse, but you did not hear about your prophet? Uh, 
that particular hadith probably I don't know but anyway no, 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 I don't I'm not asking about the particular hadith because you are reading the interpretation right so the interpretation of Maududi is based on what he was with the Prophet he knew what the Quran is saying without what all interpretation they have to go back to what their Prophet said or at least one of the companion do you agree I was quoting you there's a scholar at the moment no, okay who is the scholar Maududi is not a scholar so when you scholar. quote for me uh, when you quote for me quote for me your prophet what your prophet says about the heaven is it heaven in the sky or it is down in earth where Adam and Eve was am I allowed to speak okay look, look I let's say the first opinion so what's your point let's say the first opinion is right whatever they, they no, came no, I, I ask you to give me the correct opinion so stop saying the first one the second one which one no, uh, to me, doesn't both doesn't matter. What do you just the point you make? Okay, let me ask you a question. Point. I don't know how stupid you are, but sorry to call you stupid because you didn't deserve it. Read carefully. And the verse in the front of us it says that go down to earth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go down to earth. So right. if, they, if they were in the earth, how he is saying to them, go down to earth? Hang on. Uh, this was then the shaitan made them slip their form uh, and the, the brackets say paradise and got them. <laughs> out from that in which they were we said get down all with enmity between yourselves uh, on earth will be a dwelling place for you mm. and on enjoyment for a time mm. okay show me the arabic which says the the earth show here. me the arabic the guy he speak arabic do you speak arabic now oh are these in it <laughs> it's not difficult to understand it earth. i mean what arabic okay whatever language you you don't speak arabic here we go no, no, you always don't tell us the correct. No, 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 you don't speak time. Arabic. You don't speak Arabic. Okay, read it for me in Arabic. Go ahead. I'm listening. What, what, what? what? No, no, no. What the first word? What, 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 what the first word? What the first word? What? 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 <laughs> what was the first word there as Abbas? It's a very small uh, print when I was reading. Okay, I can read it what is the first word? It. What is the first word? It's a very small print. You no know? problem. Let for as for as Abdul, listen, <laughs> listen. I know that I know that you know Urdu and Urdu use Arabic letters. No problem. But what you said is very stupid. Actually, it's very disgraceful for the Quran. You're just you, uh, people. They, they, they will take it and they will make fun of you. Just wait, people. They're, they are the now listen, listen. Anyway, anyway. I now after you did print. read, after you did read, and you don't speak Arabic, what you get from this? I mean, you don't speak Arabic. So no, what, I was why you are saying word, to me show word, me the Arabic? I mean, how stupid what, I was what you word, just did? Earth. No, no, because it's the point you make that they talking about Earth. Fil Arab, Fil Arab, Fil Arab in front of you. Fil Arab. Let me teach you how to to, to yes, read it. Yes, 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 Okay, I'll buy you ice cream now. You hmm. you do it better. So right now does it say does it say that you will go down to earth? Yeah, yeah, I did say the show okay. me the word. So why earth. why you quote for me the stupid Maududi claiming as you claim that he said that heaven was not in heaven, it was in the earth. If Allah in the same verse saying, get down to the earth. Okay, it doesn't say uh, get down to the earth. It says that don't be stupid read it properly it says get you down <laughs> okay get down to where okay yourself. get down okay. where <laughs> then, then no no then then the words then it's another statement change he says on earth will be a dwelling place for you correct. and an enjoyment for a correct time. get down to the earth where you will live it's not say as you're saying get down okay to the let earth. us see okay let us see abbas let's say trying to defend his stupidity chapter but 2 verse number 36 hold on abbas let me you know you you will leave today and you had tons of injuries here we go this is ibn kathir uh, ibn kathir he is going to make everybody laugh you, at you i want you to stop right Ab now abdul hey. abdul stop stop, right. stop 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 hold on stop okay hold on all right here we go that is not the topic 
You're changing the topic right now. No, I'm not changing the topic. topic. Is, I'm not changing no, topic the topic. Is the gas Allah he sent. Allah he sent. You see, I'm it's getting you top. busted. Allah he sent Adam and Eve and Shaitan to live until judgment day on earth. So how they will get out? Okay, that's the that's the question now. Look, we humans are still traveling in space, but we're living on earth. Who say we are not living in Abdul, earth? it doesn't matter. We, we cannot, it doesn't cannot, matter. Your God live. Allah, cannot, your God Allah, live. he I'm said, saying. you will not be able to go out of the zone of the earth without his permission. When the permission will be in the judgment day, either in the judgment no. day or Allah, he have exception for his prophet. As an example, he took Muhammad yeah. in the top of a flying mule. It's called Al Burak. This is the exception. This is the authority of Allah. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Stop there. So, you, so, what so, so, what you are saying, what you are saying, that Allah, after He sent Adam and Eve, He gave another permission that a human and Shaitan can leave the earth when the fact is totally the opposite. That's why I'm showing you this verse to make you connect the dots so you might learn something, make you smarter. But you don't want to learn to be smart. The verse in the front of us saying, if you can go out of the zone of the earth, you cannot. I challenge you. And nobody can leave without permission of Allah. But Allah never gave a permission. And the proof, Allah, he gave order to the shaitan and to the, to, to, the, to the human to go down to the earth. And they will not leave unless he is a prophet. Allah asked for him as what happened to Muhammad or to Isa, who is right now in heaven, supposedly. This is the authority. And then he continues saying, and if you try to go, Allah will send against you fire and he will burn you and you will not be able to defend yourself. May I? Okay, I'll, I'll refute you. First of all, I don't know why every time I call you, you uh, per get personal with me. It's like I'm talking to my ex-employee, a uh, very angry ex-employee, uh, always attacking me for no reason. Uh, secondly, you make a claim that the Quran is saying uh, that you will only go out of the heavens on the day of judgment. That's what you make a claim. I, mm. I challenge you to show me any even tafsir right. which says oh, only on the day of judgment we will go out of the heaven okay. and not before that. All right. Show me even a tafsir. Okay, guys, did he say show me any tafsir? So if I show you, you will, you will, uh, you will yeah. concede and you will say you are ignorant. Yeah, absolutely, I will. But okay. do you know what I'm asking you? No, no, no. You, you, you just told me what you asked me. Show me any tafsir says what? that repeat, only. Repeat no, what? I said to you, I said to you, only prophets of God they get permission. Did I say that or not? No, 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 you said on the day of judgment we will go out of the earth. Before that, we are not going to go out of the earth. Isn't it Allah yeah, in the Quran the says, you idiot, what's, what are you talking about? Isn't it the Quran says that in the judgment day Allah will destroy the earth, He will rub it with His hand, and then He will burn ever. He will burn all people, and the Muslim they will go in Surat and Mustaqim, they will, they will go over the bridge. That is not the same thing. This what is the same thing. Is, this? is it? Is it no, the no, earth? Not. Is the it's earth not. going to be destroyed? Is the earth will be destroyed? Nobody's saying earth is not going to be destroyed. Nobody's okay. saying that. So, where, the, so where, is the, where is the Muslims will stay if the earth, if the human, they will not go to heaven and the heaven is an earth? This is what you are trying to say to me. I said to you, we will go to heaven only when in the judgment day. After that, people will go to hell and people will go to heaven. But the heaven is not in this earth. Yes or no? Listen to me now carefully. My mm. challenge to you is this. Show me anywhere even a tafsir which says mm. that before the day of judgment, no human beings or jinn, anybody will go out of the uh, earth. No one ever, only the day of judgment. Show me any tafsir say this thing because that's what the how many, you How many tafsir you want? I just want one. One tafsir says I will show no you all the tafsir. Here we go. I will show you all the tafsir. Yeah, I'm, you know what I'm asking you. No one. And you know what I'm. Yeah, I, you know what I'm asking you. And you, as long you are reading Arabic and Urdu, that will make it more funny. Uh, right. Let us see. Hold on. I can't. I can't read Arabic without vowels. Without what? Without vowels. I can't read without that. Okay, read with me. This is Tafsir al-Tabari. إذا كان يوم القيامة أمر الله السماء الدنيا فتشققت بأهلها. ونزل من في من فيها من الملائكة فأحاط بالأرض أو تران actually I will use Google translation hold on so you don't say I don't know how to read that is about this is for the same verse we are reading this is the same verse we are reading together about yeah. you know you genie and mankind you cannot leave the zone of the earth all right here we go 
The, this, uh, this is a website, have all the tafsir, many tafsir in one page. This is why I choose it, actually. This is Ibn Kathir in the top. I will choose translate into English. All right, here we go. Yeah, 55.33, yeah? Yes. Okay, now. Is this a yoga? All right. Yeah. Read with me. This is mean. Uh, and the heaven and the earth, well, the translation is not accurate. Okay, and then you say, except by the power of your Lord. And it said uh, in the interpretation, uh, okay, uh, all right, okay. So then they said, the meaning of this word will uh, empty you or graffiti, or you say to them, paradise and paradise, man of you. I mean, the translation is really horrible, but let me see if we can get something out of it. Okay, in the day, in the day of resurrection, God, uh, uh, the heaven will open and uh, the people of the heaven, they will come down. Those are the angels and they will surround the land. And uh, on and, uh, uh, and then uh, let me open the Arabic because this is really messed up translation. So I can translate beside the, the, the stupid Google translation. Or he doesn't translate as you wanted. No, it's the translate. Actually, it says, but it says fourth man. It doesn't say that. It says the 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 the, the hello the day the earth. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. It says that the angels they were stronger the earth, and they were stronger from it from all direction. The first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth, and the seven. Those are coming from the seven skies, and they were, are going to shoot. The angels they are going to shoot. All right. Here we go, and then they will they will surrounder all the the, uh, the 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 side of the earth and read carefully, and then you, they will say that he's quoting from the Quran. I fear that you day uh, you summoning day uh, stupid translation uh, the day you uh, you know the day you are going to turn your ass, which means you are trying to run, but you cannot run. The, okay, and then he says, and then he quote again, O jinn and mankind. And this is the verse we read already. Translation of Google is not accurate. That you cannot leave the zone of the earth. And if you try, that is going to be, uh, uh, Allah will, will shoot you. And then he says, uh, anyway, what, what he's saying here, that you will not leave the earth until the judgment day. Do you see it? He's talking about the angel will come down in no. the day of resurrection. In the day of resurrection, Allah will send the angels down. And no one before that day can leave the earth. And then the angels, so they will start. Say, it says that in the front of us. No, then you just say before that day, no one will leave the earth. Where did it say that? It I, says I in the front of us. Here we go. Let me give you the, the link in the, you know, this is Tafsir at tabari It says that, that this is will happen in the judgment day. So can you, can you highlight what you just saying? That no, one, Here we no go. one before okay. the day. Can no, you I will show that you. part? Yeah, well, you see, okay. No let me show you in Arabic and I will show you in English. Here we go. That, no, no, that is my challenge. To Hold you. on. My this is my to challenge you to you too. It's in oh. the front of me. It's, it's in the front of you. It says, this is a verse. It can a yomul qiyama amar Allahu sama dunya fatashakat bi ahliya. When the day of resurrection come, Allah will order the lowest heaven to like to open on the on the people who live in it, which is the angels. And all the angels who are there, they come down. And they will surround the earth from Aliha Bithania with Tharitha So they are they are yeah. going to, to to surround the earth from all direction, direction number one, direction number two, etc. And then they uh, 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 and they will line people line line after line. And then so Allah then then the Malak, the Hayat Malak, is going to come down to the earth. And then when they see him, they will try to run away. So they, but they cannot. So this is what the verse is about. It's about the judgment day. And here we go. This is the English translation, yes. which is a stupid translation, even saying the same. This is when the day of resurrection come, those angels, the angels of the heaven, they will come down and they will surround on the earth. And nobody can run. Okay, have you finished? Go ahead. Have you finished? Can I make a comment? Okay. Mm. Now, now, whatever you say, as a Muslim, that's perfectly fine. No problem on the Day of Judgment. That is what's going to happen. Mm. But what I was asking you, as you made a claim earlier, that no one before the Day of Judgment can go up out outside the earth. That was the main thing. 
and you didn't prove me anything, any tafsir. Even Tabari didn't say before the day of judgment. No, no he's saying that this verse, you're, you're, you're a crazy he person. Did. You are a crazy <laughs> person. He is quoting for you the verse, O oh, jinn and mankind, you cannot go after the zone of the earth. He is explaining this verse. He's saying this is nobody can and enter Allah. He sent his angels down to the earth in the judgment day. It's in the front of you. This is the interpretation for the verse. What about the part that Allah, without the permission of Allah, what did he say about that? Okay, what here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, this is what it's about the permission of Allah. Here we go. Read carefully again. He repeat again. Ibn Abbas said, O jinn and mankind, you cannot go out of the zone of the heaven and the earth. You shall not execute except by his power. Read carefully. He says, if you can, if you can, this is the, tra the translation of Google. Uh, know that the heaven. I, uh, okay, I understand the point you're making. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, I hear you. You're breaking up. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, first of all, you're breaking up badly. I'm uh, uh, half of the time I can't hear you. Uh, you're breaking up for some reason. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Yeah, okay. The pump. First of all, Tabari explained his understanding. Even in his in his explanation, he didn't use the word like no one before the day of judgment can travel outside the earth. He didn't. My friend, he didn't say tabari, that. this is not, you are this saying is not that this explanation is of a Tabari. This is Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas when saying you make a this is about the judgment no day. This is about the judgment day. This is, this is, will be, this is will be the case. You Enter the judgment so you day. You didn't show me that he's saying that. You're implying that he... No. Hello? I don't know how to explain to you. I just simply clearly ask you to show me where he says no one can go before that. Yes, Tabari is explaining his explanation. Even in his explanation, he didn't use the word what you use. It. But mm. what we're saying is, even people like Tabari, even Ibn Kathir, they lived centuries before. Okay. Centuries okay. before you the know, space I will, make, I will make it simple for you. I find a solution. Did your prophet say that when he became a prophet, no shaitan can go and spy at Allah no more? No shaitan can inspire Allah. Yes. Did he say after I, he became a prophet, Allah, he closed the doors of the heavens for shaitan? Allah, he closed the doors of the heaven for shaitan. I, I haven't read that hadith to be honest. Neither I heard from okay. any scholar. When, when the verse in the Quran, it says that those shaitan who try to spy at Allah, what is the explanation for this verse? It says, and we have guarded the near heaven from every outcast shaitan, except him, the devil, who gained hearing by stealing, he pursued by a flaming fire. You said, uh, which you, you said, you which said, words? okay, you said, hold on. You said that shaitan, it's possible that he is out in the space, correct? Yes, okay. absolutely, yes. But That's Allah absolutely. saying, that if shaitan he tried to go out of the space to spy at him, he is going to shoot him. Do you agree with that? He's going to scare him off from shooting stars. He's not shoot him. Okay, no. Scaring them off. Okay, it says he. It's if he, so Allah will will miss. Are you saying Allah will miss? Allah will have uh, uh, stars, and they were scared, uh, scared them off of the stars. No, no, where it says where it says scare scare him. It says he pursued by a flaming fire. Allah will shoot uh, him. See if he cannot call you back because you're breaking up most of the time. I think it's not fair. No problem. I can't no, hear. no problem. I can't hear most of the things you're saying. Okay, okay. Let me call you back. All right. <laughs> I have a surprise for him. Yes, wait. You know, always you have to make them so excited because the more excited they are, the more they will make Islam stupid. Yes, Abbas. You hear me? <clears throat> Hello? Yes, Abbas. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What do you want to say? Go ahead. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? CB? Um, I hear you, man. Come on. Wrong you hear me? I'm sure you hear can me. You can you, hear, can you hear me clear, yeah? Hey, come on, I hear you and you hear me. Okay, anyway. so, all right. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, because I was, I'm just uh, driving uh, on oh. my way home. Okay. So I think there's sometimes your reception go bad. Oh. Uh, so right, um, let, let's start again. Then uh, you were saying. I was saying. When Allah he said, if Shaitan he try go out to the heaven, Allah will you say it? Allah will uh, will scare him. He will not shoot him. Correct? Yes. Well, he send the stars and they scare them. Oh, mm -hmm. and then they of course they cannot travel where they want to travel. Okay. So but you you have to prove it wrong that this cannot be possible. Okay. Listen. You have to so, show me this time. You're making okay. a fun of it. But, but Shaitan is trying to go out of the zone of the earth. Correct. Yes, the understanding is okay. that he what go is, out of the what earth. What is the zone of the earth? What is the zone of the earth? Uh, the earth have outside there. There are layers there. The ozone layers there. And All right. So is that probably is, is, that, is that the atmosphere? Miles, is, is, out is that the atmosphere? Place. Okay. So you are saying this is the atmosphere, correct? Yes, atmosphere okay. of the earth. All right. Oh, yeah. So Shaitan, Allah will shoot him by a star, and you are the one who agreed. Everybody heard you saying that this is a star, correct? Star, that's right, yeah. Okay, so as long as you just agreed that this is inside the zone of the earth, so do you believe really that the stars I, are going inside? I didn't say shoot him. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. No problem, no problem, no problem. Allah will scare him by shooting the star inside the atmosphere of the earth. Do you know how big the star? Did I say inside the earth? Why are you putting words in my you mouth? You said the atmosphere. You said the atmosphere. The atmosphere is in the earth already, you know. The star, do you know how well, big the Satan star is? Satan is in the atmosphere. Listen, listen. Satan listen, Shaitan is in the atmosphere, no problem. Well, Allah, he showed us. Goes up Allah, he pursued the shaitan. And then, 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 you can be scared from the thousands of miles away from the wherever you are the stars. Why can't you be scared? Okay, okay hold that? on, hold on, hold on. Why hold can't you stay? <laughs> So, so, shaitan, so Allah is scaring Shaitan by seeing a star miles away. I mean, he uh, millions of years away. Hello? What are you talking about? Hello, it's it, you are the one who said that Allah will shoot at him to push him away, correct? Allah, with when they go out <coughs> to seek the knowledge. Allah throw the star okay. and scare them. That okay. doesn't mean the so, stars are coming into the, the atmosphere of the earth. Of course, right. that's what he's saying. No problem. Listen. Nobody's saying that that would be. Okay, L listen, I, I will go with you. So, Shaitan, he tried to earn the knowledge of Allah. Where is the knowledge of Allah located? Well, whatever the knowledge they want to uh, bring to people. Oh, no, hold on, hold Allah. on. You are the one who said, everybody heard you, that Shaitan is still in the atmosphere, correct? In the atmosphere or outside the atmosphere, it can be. I, I say, I'm, I'm. Open no, you say it. You are the, the one street. who said. You are the one who said that they are in the atmosphere. Yes or no? No, no, no. You say what is how? You say how big the atmosphere is? What is the atmosphere? No, the you atmosphere? Said, said he is in the atmosphere. We are recording. Don't do that again, Abbas. What's wrong with you? I did not say. No, you said you just said that people is laughing. You said that Shaitan is in the atmosphere, and you said yes, he is in the atmosphere, and you tried to explain to me the layers of the atmosphere. So now, and we agreed upon that, and now you take it off back. Look, if, if, <clears throat> do you want me to play backward the the recording of the the video, so people will laugh at you? If you if do you, you're not gonna have a do you want me? Do you want me to play back? The record, do you want me to play back the recording of your voice saying yes, he is in the atmosphere? Okay, okay. Do you play? Can you rewind it all the way back when I call you? And that's exactly what I said to you. I said they can go in the space, but not without <laughs> the permission of Allah. No, and you said the exactly atmosphere. Said. You, you said have... he is in the atmosphere. You said that. <laughs> Do you see why I, I hang up on you? Do you see why I hang up on you? You are just I, like I, a kid. I'm really, I'm really you are not mature, really Abbas. You are, you are, not, mature. You are not mature. You are not mature. Okay, let's go back to zero. Again, again, I will go. I will go back to zero. Again, I will go. Okay, again, I will go back to zero. Where is the shaitan? Is he in the earth or not? From the very beginning, I said to you, hmm. they can go out, not but without the permission of Allah. And then you say, how can they go out in the space? I say, well, where it says it, they can't. That's what I'm saying from the very beginning. Now you're trying to uh, corner me on the thing. Oh, so he's in the atmosphere. 
I say, yeah, it can be in atmosphere. Mm. It can be in space, wherever they are. But they will be scared by those shooting stars. Allah will scare them. Allah will put fear in their heart by by the shooting stars or the stars. Doesn't matter where they are. They could be in the space. So don't try to corner me on on something which I didn't say. But you, you say that. Point? You see, I'm letting you talk because people are laughing because people heard you saying that shaitan he cannot go out of the atmosphere. You are the one who said that. No, I didn't say that. If I said that, maybe I don't know. If I say I don't think I I say that. I I was answering you. Okay. You say is Satan in the atmosphere? I say yes, in the atmosphere. That doesn't mean he cannot go out at all. That uh, I didn't say that. Okay. So when Allah he says atmosphere. you cannot leave the zone of the earth without my permission, did Allah give the Shaitan permission you, to go to heaven? If Satan, yes, Allah, if without, Allah could give him permission. Yes. But I showed you that Allah he said to Shaitan and to Adam, get down, you and your wife and Shaitan, get down. That's right. Is that ban get left? Down, yes. Is that ban lifted? They, they, no, they're going to be lived there. They're going to be lived there. That doesn't, that okay. doesn't mean the Satan is not going to try to travel into space. Mm. And when he will try to travel in the space, Allah will scare them and he will come back. He will not be able to uh, go further. Mm. So, yes. Mm. So, when Allah say get down, that's a seventh heaven or sixth heaven, wherever it is. So, if you say get down from here, you could be in the first heaven, you could be in the earth. So, this is all our, our imaginations. We cannot say for certain what exactly it means, but so, that's for sure. Uh, so Allah what what is the point of this challenge, O oh, genie and the human being? Get out if you and you cannot without my permission. We never heard a verse in the Quran saying that Allah gave permission neither to man or to genie. Can you show me a verse? Uh, well, no, that's a, this, no. When Allah says hmm. you, if if the point was they can never, Allah the verse will say you can never. Okay, what I showed you, but when it says, I showed but, you the but, interpretation. But it, I showed you the interpretation and the interpretation agree that this is this is about that until the judgment day nobody will be able to leave the zone of the earth No, that that will ultimately that will happen ultimately, but it never it doesn't say what do you mean? You what, do you mean what do you mean ultimately? What do you mean ultimately? What do you mean by by saying ultimately? Uh, that on the day of judgment the earth will be destroyed and everybody will right. love the souls okay. will be, the so, souls will be taken so from out now, and from, then from now until the judgment day nobody will be able to leave correct without the permission of Allah okay but Allah never gave permission that's why he sent Adam and shaitan it's to earth to earth it's obviously Allah give permission when he gave uh, permission when they are traveling in the space that's what I'm telling you this oh, is one so of the you are trying to explain the, uh, how the shaitan how, 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 how the Soviet Union get Allah busted you say obviously Allah gave permission this is what you are saying because obviously the Quran is wrong. Allah give, Allah give permission to them. <clears throat> where? Without, show me, without, show me, without, where, show without, me where, where it says Allah He gave permission. Allah gave permission to the infidels. Now this is for the for the yes. Anybody have knowledge? Yeah? Allah give permission to infidels. What's wrong with that? They are His creation. They are all Allah's creation. In the worldly matters, you can be successful. In the worldly matters, but in, in on the day of judgment, they have nothing for them. Mm. So if you work hard, Allah will kill, Allah will let you whatever you want to earn on the worldly level. Look, mm. Allah even let people kill their prophets. Mm. The, the, the bad people kill their prophets. It mm. happened mm. many times. Even children of who Israel, is the chosen one? people who, of okay. God, uh, who, they were, who, they were who defeated the one, by the pagans. Who is the one who uh, make the people kill the prophets? Allah allow it, or Allah He send them to kill them? This is how it is. Allah let this was a test for people. They do evil things, and the, for the prophet, it's a martyrdom. No, no, they I'm asking you, who is the martyrdom. one who sent people to kill their prophets? You are changing topic, but I will go yep. with you. Who is the one who sent his 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 uh, uh, people to kill uh, his prophets? Who is the one who sent that? Shaitan or Allah? Um, can you? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Don't tell who me, don't tell. You know, you know. You, you, this is why you are not answering because you are afraid. Who is the one you said even uh, Allah allow uh, you said Allah allow people to kill even his prophet? Did you say that? That's right. Yes. Okay. Allah, let it Allah, when allow it or allow Allah it, or let Allah it. or Allah he sent them to kill his prophets. Allah sent people to kill his prophet. Thank you, guys. Did you hear this? Allah he no, sent. No, no, no. You said you said. I'm I'm asking you, did you say Allah yes. sent people Allah to kill send his, his people to kill his prophets? Yes or no? Okay, I, I, show me. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, give me an answer. Don't tell me, show me. Tell me the answer. Yes or no? 
Um, I don't think so. That's true. That Allah sent people why not? to kill his Why is that true? Why is that true? What's wrong with that? If Allah He sent somebody to kill his prophet, what's wrong with that? Not to my knowledge that Allah sent to kill his prophet. That um, doesn't make not the sense. question. What's wrong with that? Let us say Allah He sent somebody to kill his prophet. Is that make Allah bad person for you? It's like um, me sending um, to kill somebody really good human being. Okay, so that's not that bad. That's, not, bad. that's evil. That. That will not be right thing. Th that will be evil. Okay, thank you. Guys, did you hear this? Chapter 6, verse verse I, 112. Chapter 6, verse 112. It says, Allah is the one who sent those enemies to the Prophet. Read it. Allah, chapter 6, verse 112. Chapter 6, 112. Okay, let's read it. Hmm. Allah sent people to kill his Prophet. Hmm. Okay. And so it is that against every prophet we have set up the evil ones from among men and jinn. Mm. Some of them inspire others with specious uh, speech only by way of delusion. Mm -hmm. Had it been your Lord's will, they would not have done it. Mm. Leave them alone to fabricate what they will. Mm. So I didn't use the I didn't see the word kill here. Mm, but Allah sent no. uh, people to kill it. He prophet. is the one who the appointed word. the enemies. The All kill. the enemies. What the this enemies gonna do? What the enemies will do to the prophet? And by the way, translation here, they are adding things. There's nothing in the verse in the English. Yeah, yeah. They okay. yeah. show me the word uh, kill. They say that Allah sent My people friend, to kill his who prophet. is who is the one who will kill the prophet? The enemy, correct? Yeah. Okay. And, and enemies those are the enemies. Wrong. All the enemies, with no exception, all the enemies are appointed by Allah. Does it say ah. that? Now you're playing the with words here, right? No, it doesn't. When you say Allah, Allah raised people against prophet. But no, Allah it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. And so we have appointed for every prophet enemies. So every prophet, Allah appointed enemies. So those enemies, and if it's not Allah will, they will not do that. Read it. And, no, no. What happened then among those enemies? Some crossed the boundaries. They crossed the, listen, they listen, crossed listen. the limit. Listen, Why what Allah? They, you they are they the one who said to me a second ago, a second ago, you said it's not right. To do something evil to my prophets. You are the one who said that to me, correct? You said this is wrong. So why Allah is appointing enemies to his prophets, which is against what you said that this is wrong. You said this is wrong. Okay. How I what, send what somebody I and I will appoint something against him. This is wrong. You said that. This is evil. Uh CP, I don't know. People don't get it, but I just get you very well. You know, I I can I can see you through very well. Mm -hmm. Like you know that you show the picture of that transparent who. Yeah. In the heaven, you know, x ray. I can see you through like that x ray. X ray for me is nothing, Wonderful. nothing surprised. But Wonderful. People okay. are very so, you nothing surprised. So, so you why said, you say it? Why you said it's no, it's wrong that Allah will appoint against his prophets his enemies? You are the one who said that. This verse is not saying what you're saying. You said, if I show you that Allah sent people to kill his prophet. Hmm. I say I is don't the, know is that the enemy of the prophet is the one who killed him no, or the no, one no, who no, killed no, 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 who, no, who no, is no, the no, enemy of the prophets? Who are no, they? No, the no. enemy of the prophet? Okay, listen. Who is the enemies of the prophets? Every enemy hmm. is not a killer of the prophet. Okay, but all the enemies are appointed but by Allah. Among the, among all the, so Allah, all Allah, the enemies Allah, are appointed by Allah. Yes or no? <clears throat> Allah is not sending them to kill the prophet. So, man, what you no, 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 no. He he sent them in purpose to hurt his prophet. You are the one who said. Everybody heard you. You are the one who said. No. Even Allah, He allow people to kill his prophet. You said allow. Did you say allow? It, no. They, Yes, Allah, because okay. Allah allow everything. Okay, guys, Allah, Allah He allow. No, no, Allah don't allow everything. Don't stop being lying, because Allah yes. He said nothing can happen except by His permission. Is that correct? His will. Yes. Okay, by his will. Okay, so when somebody killed his a prophet, that is it, that is his will. What Allah let evil happen? If evil happen, Allah stop doesn't talking stop it. like rubbish. Is, is that the will of Allah or against his will? Allah, he says, nothing bad happened to you, but it is the will of Allah. Do you, do you agree? When Allah says, when Allah says nothing happened against the will of, without the will of Allah, that means Allah let it happen. That doesn't mean Allah wanted that to happen. Okay, but here we Meaning have, Allah, Allah but here we have, Allah but, Allah okay, but here we have Allah appointed enemies to His prophet from Shaitan and from mankind. Does it say appointed? Yeah. Okay. What opposition. appointed mean? Explain they, to me. Your English better than mine. What appointed mean? Appointed means 
appointed he means uh, Allah let uh, the opposition. No, uh, get that's them. a lie. Appointed doesn't mean he let. It's mean he hired them. No, yes. no, it doesn't mean that. Are you stupid no, or what? Mean. Are you stupid or what? Appointed mean he <laughs> let it happen or he hired them. Hmm. Uh, show me the word uh, appointed here in Arabic, please. <laughs> but you don't know Arabic. It's very important. <laughs> Well, I have my I have my sources. I have my sources. I have my sources. I have my sources. Seriously, I have my sources. Go on, Buzz, go. Read read it in Arabic so we can laugh. I want to hear you. Okay, six one hundred twelve. Jalna likulli nabiyin aduwan shaitana il insi wal jinni yuhi baaduhum ila baadin. Come on, come on. This is embarrassing. What are you doing? Now, okay, what you get from this? What it says? I'm looking at the word appointed. Hmm. What do you mean looking at the word appointed? Ja are, you talking, are you talking about Ja'alna? Is it Ja'alna is appointed? Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? No, no. You tell me because I didn't use the English translation I'm reading. Hmm. In that, he say, and thus we made for every prophet an mm. enemy. Okay, does it say made? made did you say made? Uh, did you say the word? Did you say the? Did you say the word made yourself? Did you say we made? Made, yeah. Allah, okay. Allah, Allah so, make everything. Guys, let us Allah replace. Let us replace the word appoint, 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 like appointed by made. What a different. The made mean Allah has created them as well. The enemies they also. No, 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 no. He made them the enemies. He made them. He made them. What he made them? What he made out of them? He made them enemies. Let's read that again. And thus we made for every prophet an <laughs> enemy, devils, the mankind, and the jinn, inspiring some okay. of them to others decorative. So, hmm. so Allah, Allah has created them, and they they are the enemies of the prophets. Yes. No, he made them. He the made prophet. them the enemies but, of the prophet. Yes or no? Did he made them? To be enemies. Well, how they become? No, did he make them it's that this it. is their job? Like, did, did he make them? Did he make them an enemy? And this is their job as Allah. He made them to be an enemy. They are the enemies. Oh yes, but this is all creation of Allah. Let, this let is not the question. Happen. This is not the question. Did he make them? Did he make them an enemy? He made them to be the enemy. He made them. He designed them. He created them for a reason to be the enemy of the Prophet. Do you agree with that or not? The word Ja'alna means me, yes. Okay, so he made them. This is what he created them for, right? Let me read more uh, translation. No, 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 Do you want to, you want me to open the... I, will, I, do I don't want, want to go down on the... On do you want me to English open word. the... Do you want me to open the interpretation for you? What do you want? Oh, interpretation, interpretation will do very well, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, interpretation would do good, guys. He uh, said, I'm, I'm looking at the word Jalna exactly what okay. it means. So uh, he said interpretation would do good. Okay, let's okay, let's go and find the interpretation. Okay. Make us make us it could be another word is make us, not necessarily <coughs> made. Okay, this is the make. interpretation. Here we go. This is Tafsir Jalalain. Read for me in the screen, please. Go ahead. <coughs> Actually, I got Jalalain on myself. Uh, no problem. I, I'm really Jalalain. Read a Jalalain. That's wonderful. Yeah. He got a Jalalain there. I got a Jalalain here. So yeah, yeah, we are part. That's right. Yeah, hey, absolutely, absolutely. Why not? Read a Jalalain. And so we have, yeah. and so we have appointed. He used the word appointed in the uh, interpretation, but translation of Sahih International says made. Okay. So and so we have appointed to every prophet and enemy, just as we have appointed these your enemies. And this other one, an enemy, is substituted by the following shaitan devil. Devils, the rebels of mankind and jinn who inspire, whisper, find, and mm. speech to each other, okay. the falsehood. Mm. And this that is disguised as such mm. in delusion. That is in order to delude them. Yet, had your Lord willed, they would never have done it. There's That's the whole main point. Mm -hmm. That means Allah, Allah let it happen. Hmm. But if he doesn't, does it say? Does it say? Does it say that he is the one who appointed them? 
it started from saying that so we have appointed every prophet okay and what does enemy that mean? What just does that mean? as we have what appointed these enemies. no who what does that mean you see you are the one who said you reject the word appointed but now we go back to appoint because this is what ajrala is saying so allah is the yeah, one who appointed Arab, enemy to the prophet and you are the one in the beginning who said this is wrong arabic word is doesn't use the word appoint that's what saying arabic, no, arabic word it says that and therefore we made for every prophet his enemies he is the one who made them he created them to be enemies this is their job and i, I told you that is because okay. allah left all right him. listen listen let allah. me ask you did, let me ask you did your prophet do your prophet have a shaitan who give him command and he is sent by allah yes or no oh, that's the hadith you read isn't it many times i'm asking you yes or no and this so we are trying yeah, to explain. Yes. Okay. So did hadith, the shaitan? Hadith did, says that, but the understanding, understanding of the hadith is not what your understanding is. No problem. Well, the, the your prophet will explain it to us. You, Allah, He sent shaitan against His prophet. Yes or no? <clears throat> According to this verse, yes, yeah, are the enemies. Allah, 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 Allah made them in that way. They are the enemies of the prophets. Thank you. And that's the test. But in the beginning, remember, that's, that's, you are the one who said this is will be wrong. Everybody heard you. Now. So we we so Allah he did wrong against uh, uh, I say uh, you you I say said your that. understanding was wrong. No 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 you said no 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 I asked you from the you beginning I, I asked you from the beginning you spoke about killing the prophets and, and harming the prophet I said okay who is the one who appoint those who will harm the prophet is it Allah he says no because that will be wrong everybody heard you it's recorded again now listen how no, Muhammad no, how Allah that. how That's Allah correct. okay wrong. Allah he appointed for correct. every human being including the prophet Karim. Is that correct? Karim. Let me correct, let me correct you. you did your said prophet did your prophet appointed Karim? Yes or no? Did Allah he you appointed can't lie. Look, you can't lie and just say uh, leave it. I have to correct you where you just lie. It's recorded. There's, there's, no need, the there's no need to correct it. It's recorded. No, no, People, no, can't no, go no. Back. no. I know this is also recorded that I'm not gonna refute you. That will be recorded as well. So I have to refute you. Hmm. You said then your Allah sent people to kill his prophet. That's what he said. Mm. I say, not to my knowledge, Allah didn't send anybody to kill him. Mm. Now, sending somebody to kill him is very direct thing. Mm. But let people to kill his prophet is another thing. Mm. So when Allah make enemies for prophets, mm. those enemies were they were the they were the oppositions. But Allah never uh, tell them to kill their prophet. Uh, Allah never said, Go and kill my prophet. He is the, the, the one who appointed to be the enemy, which means they are doing the orders of Allah. Appointed him enemy, they were the opposition. That's okay. what it is. How the Allah he appointed them? Okay, let me ask you. When Allah he appointed me now to be the enemy of Muhammad, what Allah did? He made he gave me an order. Hey Christian Prince, I want you to target Muhammad. Is that correct? No, you do be opposed. No, he let you to oppose. Okay. And no, 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 he don't let me. No, no. By, it doesn't say he let it doesn't it death. doesn't say he let me stop being a liar. We yeah, ask you from the actually, beginning. Who is the one who who made those people and appoint those people to be the enemy? He says it cannot be Allah. The verse in front of us says we have appointed, and appointed so clear. Like Allah appoint prophets, yeah. Okay, appoint. So but Allah, here he appoint Allah, 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 Allah. He appointed evil one as against his prophet. Who is the one who appoint them? Allah. But when he when you understand Islam and Quran, look, even you read the Tafsir, Tafsir doesn't agree with you. Okay, the Tafsir is in front of me. It says Allah appointed. No, Allah doesn't say as you're saying that. that Allah it says Allah that in the front of us. Everybody can see it. Everyone can see it. Allah, he appointed them against his prophets. Let me read that again. He doesn't explain that what he's saying that he's sending people when people are killing. That's all because Allah appointed them. No. A point we have here means they are the enemies. They okay, what a point? Away what, from okay, uh, Abbas, slow, slow by one. I, you know, you are smart. We are yeah. not. What we can do? Yeah, uh, what, what the word appointed mean? Let us search in Google translation and see what the word appointed mean. Whatever it mean, I will take it. Do you, what do you think? Appointed. Let's see what appointed. Here we go. Appointed of a time of a place, decided on before, uh, uh, before and uh, before and uh, designated. So Allah designated, do you see it? Allah designated for every prophet his enemies. Who is the one designate the enemy? Allah. This is what appointed mean. 
English okay. is not okay. my first okay. language. English is not my first language. Where were you too, you're too I fast. Search in Google. Where, where were you fast? Huh? Wait, you're, you're too fast. You're too fast. First of all, you are when you say Jalna means appointed, you know that it doesn't mean appointed. My friend. Not every class. Day, listen, not every, this you are the day, one who said to me, day. you are the one who said to me, let's go to Ajjalalain. I am in Ajjalalain. And you said you have your version Ajjalalain. Oh. I said, that's wonderful. And you did read. Does it say in Ajjalalain in front of you appointed? Yes or no? In Tafsir, where the Sahih International say made. Okay, and my friend. Yusuf Ali says. Ali Does it say? Made. Okay. Uh, so Allah, when we say Allah, He made for every prophet His enemies. He's not talking about the creation of a human being that's because right. already a human being created long time ago. That, that's right. Allah created supposed right. the genie and the human from the beginning. That's it. But here He's talking about specific right. thing. The enemy. Who is the one who made the enemy for Allah for His prophet? Allah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Listen. Mm. Muhammad Sallallahu has many enemies. Mm. They tried to kill him, mm. but they didn't kill him. Kill him. Did not. Allah saved him. Yeah. So why Muhammad saying yes. that he was killed by poison? Enemies, enemies couldn't kill him. Well, then he he no. never says he never says killed by poison. I heard you all this rubbish all the time. He never killed kill the prophet. He killed by poison. He did say to Allah, read it, read it, read I feel it. I feel the pain of mm. the poison. Mm. Okay. I ate. He mm. feel the pain of the poison, but mm. that is his understanding but that doesn't mean that you, that's true that that poison affecting me guys, guys like did, you, did you hear that what Abbas that said mean... Abbas can you give me a minute please guys did you hear he said this is but this is his understanding so he's saying he's a prophet is a fool he don't understand so so Abbas today is correcting me correcting Muhammad correcting the understanding of all of us the understanding of Muhammad is a stupid the understanding of Christian press is a stupid the only one is a smart here is Abbas so Abbas please correct the understanding of your prophet your prophet saying he is he this is how he feel he is dying because of the poison he ate at Khaybar and you are saying this is his understanding which mean you are right and Muhammad is a stupid can I answer? Go. You see, I listen to you very patiently. I let you speak because I you speak a lot of nonsense. Go ahead, I go think ahead. correct. Go ahead. Um, do you know poison he had in Khabar mm. and he died three to four years later. Mm. In that three to four years, mm. and remember one of his companions died on the spot mm. who ate with him. He died on the spot. So the poison was so strong. Mm. So if that poison affected him, he had many battles in between that. Mm. He conquered Makkah. Mm. Yeah, he had a Hunan battle of Hunan. Mm. He done Hajj yeah. all that I time. In I that time, he, he was really suffering. I never, he, he was I suffering never by the way, heard of the battle of Hanan. Hanan, okay. <laughs> what is that? Hanan? Is that the new whiskey? Hunan, Hunan. Ah, Hunan. 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 What Hunan? Okay, so uh, I, know, really okay. Abbas, 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 I, Abbas, I get you. I get you. You are saying that your prophet is really stupid. How you say that, no. Muhammad? After three years of being eating the poison. You idiot, how in the world you say that you die because of the poison? This is what Abbas is saying. He is saying that he's a prophet, obviously, is an idiot. He ate a, he ate a, a poison three years ago, and yet he think this prophet is funny. This is stupid, man. This is, this is, this is a crazy prophet. He think after four years of eating the poison, he is dying because of the poison. So we get a conclusion from Abbas that Abbas saying that Muhammad he was saying false words He thinks something but the fact it's not he's wrong and Abbas our brother here from the back Pakistan is correcting the Mighty Prophet of Allah the Prophet he says something obviously it's wrong This is what you are saying. I've already heard you Yeah, can I go ahead? <laughs> well, what that Allah has given us the um, um intellect and reason and logic to see things um, uh, doesn't make sense or not so you are saying yeah. the prophet have no logic oh guys did you hear this allah when muhammad he says that he don't have decency he don't have sense and he don't have logic he accused his prophet of all of these because allah I this doesn't make sense you just said that this does not make I sense allah he gave us logic allah gave it so muhammad he been given not the logic of abbas Abbas he got the logic Muhammad he was not given the sense of understanding Abbas was given that so you just admitted that your prophet is really stupid idiot and you he have no logic he have no sense of understanding and he's a stupid you said that at me no no I what I'm saying is when I analyze everything mm. the time of he ate poison mm. and the time he died mm. in the middle he was perfectly fine and healthy mm. so um, what happened then so I come to the conclusion 
and I'm sure you're not going to like it, that this hadith is dubious. Ah, this hadith. This hadith. But this is Sahih Bukhari. <laughs> and Sahih Bukhari are all not even Shaykh al -Bani. <laughs> You see, a second ago, you never mentioned anything about the hadith. But now after we got you busted, humiliated, because you humiliated your prophet, now you have to jump to the, 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 the last try. The hadith. There is something wrong with the hadith. <laughs> I didn't see any of that what you said about just, the prophet. Just, just, I would not. just go. I have enough. Enough comedy for people who want to record the videos and they will post it again. The last solution, the last thing is let us talk about the hadith. The hadith is not good now. The hadith problem. Problem, brother, this is the hadith. This is Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari. The most authentic book for the Muhammadan, the follower of the pagan religion of Islam, the black stone kisser prophet. You see how they even they insult their prophet. He is correcting his prophet that his prophet he have no understanding. So look how we how and we where we jumped. The Quran's making it clear. That nobody can leave the zone of the earth. The guy he says without the authority of Allah, and this is supposedly Allah gave authority to the Soviet Union. When the fact, all the interpretation saying it clearly, that nobody can leave the zone of the earth until the judgment day. And we showed him the interpretation, even we show it in English. We use the English translation so he might understand. Still, he wanna play games. This is about the judgment day. Nobody can leave. The only one who can leave is the prophets of Allah. Muhammad, he never thought that time will come and people will be able to leave the, the earth. He never thought that will happen. It's impossible. And this is why he is making a challenge that nobody can leave the zone of the earth. So now after we notice that the infidels and the funny the one who left the earth first we cannot even call them christians we cannot call them jews we cannot call them believers it was the communist because the soviet union is the first people who leave the earth and at that time this was a communist country so when allah he says nobody can leave the zone of the earth he is saying clearly that we made the sky protected roof and nobody can leave this earth if we go to the different verse in the quran uh, muhammad he imagined the earth as a flat land surrounded by mountains and that mountains is like a fence <clears throat> let us see ibn abbas the interpretation of the cousin of muhammad which is more close to the time of muhammad because this is from the time of muhammad supposedly from the narration of the authority of ibn abbas that he said the interpretation of allah saying qaf he said it is an azure mountain overlooking the world and the color of the sky stakes from it and Allah swear by it. So what we have here, we have a mountain surrounding the whole earth. Let us, let us do some drawing. So the earth is like this. This is the earth. And then there's mountains around it, and this mountain is blue from all corners. We need to make a three-dimension wall. And this, this wall is blue. This is why we cannot see it. And the sky is taking its color from this blue azure mountain, as you see in the screen there. Where the sky taking its color from? From this wall which is mountains surrounding the earth 
So we cannot leave the zone of the earth. Why? Because we have mountains as fence. And we cannot leave the zone of the heaven because why? We have a protected roof. And if somebody try to leave the zone of the earth or the heaven, Allah will shoot him. And this is simply what the Quran is saying. And this poor kid, he is trying his best to defend something nobody can defend. Nobody. Who can defend this? Nobody. But because it's very embarrassing, so he had to fabricate. Oh, Allah, he said by authority. But the authority is so clear. Nobody have that authority. Nobody. And the Quran is so clear, saying that nobody can go. If you try to go out of the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot you. And actually, this is the purpose of those stars. We adorned the lowest heaven. And by the way here, when Allah, he says the lowest heaven, the atmosphere is included. Because according to religion in Islam, uh, the second you lift your foot in the top of the air, this is heaven, this is sky. The sky is anything you see above you. It's not like now our understanding we have like a, the atmosphere is inside considered part of the earth etc no the lowest heaven is where the stars are located and this is where the war will happen shaitan he tried to go out allah will shoot the shaitan by what by lamps those are lamps they cannot say this is a meteor and actually abbas himself he said he said, a shooting stars are not meteor. He said that, not me. A shooting stars, according to him, they are really stars. Okay, but Shaitan is in the earth. He is walking in the earth. He will try to go out of the earth, but he cannot. And this is what all the verses are confirming. And we have guarded the near heaven from every outcast Shaitan. It's guarded, that's it. He cannot leave. And shaitan here, by the way, is not necessarily uh, shaitan because we just showed you that Allah, he appointed for every prophet shayateen of the mankind and the genie. Do you see it? Do you see people? So according to Islam, there's a shaitan who's a human. Shaitan, not necessarily the devil as we know. Allah saying, for every prophet we uh, we appointed the devils. And who are the shaitan? And the word in Arabic, by the way, is not the devil. The word in Arabic is Satan's. Shayateen. And actually he started with Shayateen al-Ins. The Satan's of a human and the Satan's of genie. So the challenge in the other verse was for both. Oh, the one, the genie and the mankind. Go out of the zone of the earth if you can, but you cannot. Do you see it? And I did not really have patience to tell him to the, to the end this because I thought maybe I can, I can have patience more to speak to this kid. But when he said that his prophet was wrong about the way he died, I could not take it no more because this is really, I mean, I don't know if this guy he will be able to go to uh, to speak our corner. The Muslims will will make fun of him. Do you see it? So the challenge is for both. The shaitan is not necessarily, according to the Quran, is a genie. It can be a human. And you will see that shayateen among the mankind and the jinn. So the first is the mankind shaitan. What the other verse saying? Allah, he challenged mankind and shaitan to go out of the earth. Both of them. Where is the verse? 
Let us go there. Hey, too many pages open. You can't even find what we are talking about. Let us go. <sighs> I feel sorry for this kid. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's trying his best. That was a challenge, actually. That was not. I will give a permission. Oh, assembly of jinn and man, if you have power to pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth, then pass. But you will never be able to pass. And then he says, except with my permission. So if he gave them permission, so why he is making a challenge? That would be stupid alone, right? Do you understand me? If already they are flying, so why you are making a challenge to pass? Do you understand, people? Abbas saying, no, Allah, he gave a permission. But he is saying, if you can pass, but you cannot pass without my permission. So if they have a permission, that would be stupid to say to them, pass. Because already they are doing it. But you cannot you cannot come to reasoning with those people because they are just trying desperately trying to defend. Nobody wanna use his brain. Imagine I say to you, you cannot drive my car without my permission, but you are already in the highway driving the car. And I challenge you saying, and you will not be able to do it. Not only I shut up, and you will not be able to do it without my permission. But he is driving in the highway already. A lack of intellect, a lack of intelligence, and this guy, he went so far to the point he accused his prophet that he is silly and he don't have sense of understanding and he is not logical because his prophet, he ate the poison three years ago. So how he died three years after? And look how silly this argument is because you might be shot 20 years ago and you die because of the bullet 20 years after. There's people, they have a bullet in their brain. And doctors could not take it. They could not take it. Because the, the surgery, it might cause death, certain death. So they leave it there. They told him, we cannot take it off. Well, we hope you will live long. But then you die because of the bullet. So if you did not die immediately, that did not mean that the bullet did not kill you. He died by the poison. And if Muhammad he says, I died by the poison, who are you to tell him, no, you are wrong? And about the hadith where Muhammad, he received the command from the devil. How Muhammad is a prophet, but the devil is commanding him to do good. Any Muslim can explain to us how the devil is commanding the Prophet of Allah to do good. I want a Muslim to call me and explain to me that. Muhammad, he received command from who? From Allah or from the devil? From the good God or from the good devil? Anyone can tell me? Muhammad he received commands from the good God or from the good devil? Any Muslim? The hadith in front of you is saying that Allah appointed for every human being a genie, a devil. Shaitan actually. And the companion they said to Muhammad and to you too. And guys, do you see? When, when this guy, he says that uh, uh, Allah appointed does not mean he is the one who designated them. Allah, he created all mankind. No. Muhammad, he made it clear 
that Allah he appointed and their job let me uh, show you the hadith hold on this guy is a poor guy he have no idea what he's talking about <clears throat> Uh. Mm. Let us see this one. I'm just trying to find something we can find in English so you guys can read. When any one of you prays, he should not allow anyone to pass before him. And if he refuse, he should be then falsely uh, restricted, for there is a devil with him. This is from the job of shaitan. Shaitan, his job is to come and try to bother you. Actually, even Muhammad, he said, when a Muslim he pray, he take hair from the from the anus of the Muslim. But I don't think I can find <clears throat> such a thing in English. Let us see. Yeah, I don't think I can find this one in English, but we will try to translate from the Arabic. Yeah, I see. Okay, this is the Arabic version of it. Here we go. This is the Hadith. I will click translate to English. All right. The devil come to you when you are in your prayer taken here from your anus not from his mind <laughs> translation is funny so he take here from your anus and he will not stop until he make you fart and he hear the voice of the farting you break wind you believe it Allah appointed shaitan and this is why you see uh, Abbas now if you take a selfie for his anus you will find no hair there because if you pray five times a day all his life I mean how many hair he lose a day and how painful to to be a Muslim because do you know how painful to take hair from your ass try it I don't you know I don't know I never tried that but I know that if you take hair from your skin it's very hurtful so imagine you are taking hair from your anus and this is shaitan he do when the Muslims they bend over shaitan he take care of from their anus and he put his foot and he push like ee, ee, out and he will not stop doing that which means not only one hair two hair three hair he will keep doing that until you break wings hmm? this is Islam this is Islam my friend Sadly, we cannot find those things in uh, in English, you know. <coughs> now look here; they have it a decoration. Look at this. I found the. I found here. They put it. face. قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ أَنْ أَتَاكُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ بُغْتَةً أَوْ جَهْرَةً blah 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 what is that? this is a chapter it's called the chapter of the anus we cannot find this in the Quran
فيا سين قل أرأيتم أن أتاكم الشيطان بغتة أو جهرا ليلهوكم عن إقامة الصلاة بهاجس غبرا إذ يخوض في أدباركم when he go into your anus فأعرض عنه حتى لا ينفذ الصبرا so please stay away from him otherwise he will lose his patience كي لا يكسفنكم الشيطان فلا تقعد بعد الذرة تجبرا I don't know what is this what the heck is this <laughs> What a joke. <laughs> so shaitan will take her from your anus here and he will not stop until you fart. Do you remember the video, guys? Do you remember the video of the sheikh who is teaching Muslims in the in YouTube that when you go in the bathroom, the Prophet of Allah, he says you have to make a prayer. Otherwise, shaitan, he will enter into your anus. Do you remember that? You know, it's hard to believe, but this is what, what they believe. Uh, I don't remember what the name of the video was. Here we go. Uh, this is the video. You can search for this video here. I'm not going to play it. Islam Satan farts the guy in the video or you can maybe you find the original video I don't know I don't remember what was the original video was uh, about Satan farting uh, uh, but it's not really about Satan farting it's about uh, 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 Satan fart and about uh, uh, Satan he will go inside your anus and he will block it find the original video if somebody have it you can post it later in the in the comment and actually Muhammad he said clearly that shaitan each time he hear the prayer of the Muslims he start farting you see the Muslim trying to convince us of science and the Quran etc but they will not show you this hmm. read When Satan he hear the, the, the calls of the prayer, Allah Akbar Allah, he turned back and break winds. You know, if you think about it, like Abbas he was talking about this, it does not make sense, does not doesn't mean in a, there's it's not logical. The guy he ate the poison and he died for years after. But this is make sense for Abbas. This is make sense. I mean, isn't it obvious? You go around the Kaaba, it smells so bad. This is why you see two soldiers there. They have perfume and they keep spraying. They have a spray in their hand, the one they use in the in the, in the bathroom. Because Shaitan is all over. He's pissing there. I mean, he's, he's farting. A Muslim, he prays Shaitan, he fart. And what the purpose? Shaitan, he don't want to hear the Muslim. I mean, come on. Somebody tell this. Now I know why global warming is happening. Somebody tell the uh, Pelosi, what her name, Pelosi. She think the problem is a Trump. The problem is not a Trump. It's Islam, and it's Allah. We should you should forbid people from saying the word Allah, and then Shaitan he will start stop making a global warming. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what uh, farting is containing? This is what causes global warming, literally. So if there is one billion Muslims and Shaitan he fart five times a day and do you, do you know how big the ass of Shaitan brother? He's big. Shaitan, Shaitan ass is big. This is logical. I mean this is all the logic there. I mean this is Allah and this is the religion. This is Islam in two, in two words. This man, the one they call him prophet, he don't is not qualified to teach one one year old baby. Imagine you go to a university and the professor, in the same first day you meet him, he said to you, when you mention the name of etc., Shaitan fart. Hmm. 
Even Nancy Pelosi will not believe in that. Nancy Pelosi will believe in that if you say Trump. And I think Nancy Pelosi, she fought when she heard the name of Trump. She lose control of his stomach and her belly. What is this? This is God. This is religion. Who want to convert to this such a madness? The sun set in the murky water. The stars are shot. They, sh they shoot a human being if you try to go out of the earth. You know, and suddenly uh, Abbas, according to Abbas, Allah, he gave a permission to the American and the funny, Allah gave a permission to the American and to the uh, uh, Russian to go to the space, but not to the Muslims. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time, guys? <laughs> Always when you see a title in my of my video disappear, because I don't keep them, but what you need to do to try to search for the same title like two hours from now or three hours from now. It take time for uh, YouTube to process the video. So then there's people who would download the video and they will post it. Subscribe to those channels, all of them, and so you will find the video, all right? Like now, there's many names, like there is Revelation, there is uh, Sam, uh, there is many of the good guys here. They are doing great job. To download the videos so uh, subscribe to their channel all right and whatever you miss you will not miss and usually I update the link in my patreon all right uh, so because people they come and say where is our videos where are they gone where like we have a video we don't see it no more and you know I, I just remember actually one of uh, uh, I think revelation he did that uh, you remember last time Abbas he called me and Abbas he said he did not say uh, that he said they, because they are arrogant peace be to you brother yes Abbas I'm scared of you yeah well uh, you you block me all the time uh, well, because you're a kid but... you're a kid aren't you the last time the one who said <laughs> to me hold on Aren't you the one last time who said to me that the prophet says don't peace don't say peace to those who they are arrogant in Islam against Islam? Yes or no? Uh, I don't know. I never said that. I never said that. Did you hear it? I never said that. To make it short, I'm not going to play the whole video. Then the one who made this video, he looked for the older conversation between me and Abbas. And this is what Abbas said. Let us see. Yeah, um, uh, two series I read in the two series. Okay. Is this people come from, I think. Uh, All right. Okay, what those people did? Off. Did they throw rocks at the Prophet? What they did? They came, they were leaders, even they were two brothers. What they did? And one what of they did? What one did one they did? Back. One of them came back, he, he decided to become a Muslim. Okay. And, and so, what, so did, they, did they do any harm to your Prophet? Well, they were arrogant. And arrogance is. So, if you are, okay. Time. <laughs> they were arrogant but he just said to me I did not say that this is what this guy is this is why I say he's a kid he says something after two minutes he said I did not say that Abbas wanna call okay let's take Abbas I did not say that <laughs> peace be to you brother yes Abbas I'm scared of you yeah well uh, you you block me all the time uh, well, because you're a kid, you are a kid. Aren't you the last time the one who said to me? Hold on. Aren't you the one last time who said to me that the prophet says don't peace, don't say peace to those who they are arrogant in Islam against Islam? Yes or no? Uh, I don't know. I never said that. You never. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, somebody want to call me? Well, how I can find his name? Yeah, he have to give me his ID, not just a name, because in uh, Skype, my friend, there's tons of people have the same name. You know, do you know how many um, hundreds of millions use Skype? So how you will know which one? 
have the same name you have to give me your your ID in Skype not just a name I searched for the name I found the three uh, uh, at least uh, actually you know what three you click at more you see more and more and more like look how many man there's hundreds with the same name we cannot go by I think it is the first one we have to be sure because we text people we call them and then we find that he's he, he have no idea so mr. Ahsan what is your ID my friend is that the picture with the guy he is naked is that you is that a, a guy he have no t-shirt or what is that doing a what is he's cutting the head of somebody uh, doing hair for somebody I'm not sure sound like a kid for me do we have any Muslim any Muslim here Yeah, supposedly we are going to have uh, Dr. Hassan, you know, you know, Dr. Hassan is a professor and he have, uh, you know, he have many Nobel Prize of uh, science and intelligence. Uh, Dr. Hassan, he will be uh, with us uh, this coming Sunday. So get ready for ad additional uh, comedy show. This guy he's far beyond uh, Abbas. He's more smart than Abbas. <clears throat> Yeah, what Nobel Prize is, and you know, Nobel Prize is something. Maybe it used to be real before, but these days all those things, those things are political. Like all days, there is pre people who really deserve to have such a prize, but then by time this has became political. Like Obama have one. You believe it? Obama have Nobel Prize for what? What exactly he did? So this is garbage anyway. <laughs> uh, we have our friend here saying, since he discovered CP, my wife and I we have late night. <laughs> so are you going to play him late, late sleeping because of me now? Here we go. Now he will he will go back to work tomorrow, every day, and he will say to him, "Why you are?" Uh, he will say, "It's not me. This is ZB." <laughs> you know, once a lady, actually, it was a guy named in Paltok. I used to open a chat room in Paltok, and then I got a PM from this guy, PM me in private message, uh, saying to me, "Because of you, we are going to divorce." I don't know from the middle of the where who is this guy who what what he's talking about so what are you talking about man he said I am not a man I'm his wife my husband he stay in your chat room for 10 hours he don't leave he don't talk to us he don't sit with us he don't eat with us he eat in the in the front of the computer he drink in the front of the computer we said to him bring, you know he said to bring the sandwich here bring the tea here we are going to divorce because of you <laughs> So anyway, I told her, okay, later I will speak to your. So I spoke to him. I said, listen, you are allowed every day, maximum of two hours to be in my chat room. After that, I will bounce you. <laughs> and honest to God, I, I, got a, a, I got a timer next to me. I time it for the second he entered the chat room. 
I see his name. I, I actually I put a mark next to his name. I don't know his name. Uh, next to him, next his name. Two hours bounce, which means after two hours I have to bounce him. So the second he entered that chat room, I hit the the, the one you use for uh, like for you know chess game, etc. So two hours, bingo, I bounce him. You know, <clears throat> yeah, be careful. It bring addiction, especially with the comedy we face here. You know, every day. You see the comedy we have here. It's unbelievable. Yeah, but before I used to stay like you know, you guys, you you saw nothing. We used to stay. Sometimes I stay twelve hours, you know, fourteen hours. It is unbelievable, and you know, fourteen hours talking. I mean, if you try to talk for one hour, two hours, you will have headache. You will lose your voice. Literally, I stay. Uh, once I broke the record. I went, I came back Friday, I came back from work. I have the whole weekend. I did not even change my clothes. I turned the computer on. I started the chat room and I stayed Friday and then Saturday. You know, the chat room is open. Like I say, guys, I'm going to play a music. I will be back just to go to the bathroom. <laughs> People go to sleep, they come back, still a Christian Prince debating Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> they go back over the continent people they are in Japan people they are in Malaysia they are people people come because they have different uh, time you know some people have nights some people have day it doesn't matter you come to buy to chat room it's open and it's only I have admins who help me you know like uh, hold the mic for a second I have to go to the bathroom or etc or make a sandwich but non-stop uh, anyway uh, and we did really a lot of work and a lot of Muslims left Islam in Paltok. And actually the one who brought me to Paltok, it was the Muslims. The Muslims, they challenged me to come to Paltok. If you are a man, come to Paltok. So I said, okay, I'm the man. The reason I wrote books, it was the Muslims. They said to me, if you are so much knowledgeable about Islam, how come we never heard that you have a book? So I said, okay, let's have a book. <laughs> The Muslims is the one who said to me, I will challenge you to make a video on YouTube. I said, okay, let us make YouTube. <laughs> All the things I did because the Muslims encouraged me. It's true. It was not actually in the beginning, the Christians, they were fighting me. You know, I, I don't know if you notice Christian, they say to you, this is not the right way to debate Muslims. Uh, you say harsh words to them. This is not a Christianity. They are all over me. Actually, I remember once I have a bishop. I will not say from what church, but a very traditional church. He is an old man. I respect him, actually. He's a good man. He said to me, so what do you get from this? So what do you mean? So what do you get this, this, from this, from your health, staying, talking, arguing with people? I mean, you might have heart attack. This is very hard. What you will get from this? I said, a lot of people left Islam and accept Jesus. Actually, no, no, I said that to him. No, hold on. I, he said, what you what you get from uh, from from this? Uh, so I said to him, uh, what do you think? He said, uh, uh, you 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 will damage your health, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I said to him, okay, how many people they come to Christ by your work from the Muslim belief? He said, none. I said, ask me the same question. You are a bishop and you are 70 years old and you did not bring one Muslim to Christianity. And you are, instead of encouraging me to do more, he is discouraging me and saying to me, what, what you will get from this? You see how the Christians sometimes they try to discourage you without noticing? <clears throat> You see, if a Muslim doing that, you know, bringing people to Islam, Muslim, they will support him. They will, yeah, good brother, etc. A Christian, mostly, they go against you because they will say to you, oh, you are not, you're being nice to the Muslims. You are not being, what nice? What do you mean nice? Jesus, he said to the liars, the hypocrite, the sons of the snakes. Yes, he did. What nice? Jesus, he flipped tables in the temple. He, made, he said to them, you made the house of my father a bazaar. 
So they want only a specific kind of a Christianity. They want to they want to only adopt only one thing. But Christ always was a truthful. He never was hypocrite. When somebody is hypocrite, he says to him, you are a hypocrite. If you are your father, you do the work of your father. Right? So, uh, yeah, Maria, your ID, please. Maria, are you a Muslim? Maria? If you are a Maria, give me, give. if you are a Muslim, give me your ID. I will contact you, no problem. <clears throat> Which should uh, we read except your books to study Islam? Will my books make it a lot easier for you? Because to study Islam, it's endless books. And if you study Islam from Muslim books, you will never study anything unless you know Arabic and you are very, let us say, uh, uh, I don't want to say people are not sharp, but people, they do not know really how to study such a complicated topic. So you need somebody who can connect the dots after reading a lot about Islam so he can put the information together to get the image. And that is not really easy. Especially you are reading from a translation because all Islamic translation is false. Not even a single one is not false. You see the translation in front of us, it's false. Quran translation is false. You cannot find one accurate translation. And the translation, most of them, they are meant to defend. And like, if we go to Ibn Kathir in English, this is Ibn Kathir. The translation of Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with the book of Ibn Kathir in Arabic, but yet it's called translation. Yeah, actually, I'm working in a Quran translation, but it's going to take me time because I'm spending too much time. I'm working in many books at the same time. Right now, I'm working a book. It's called Allah Justice. Trying to finish it uh, as soon as I, as I can, as I can, you know. Are you a former Muslim? No, I never been a Muslim, not even for a second. I'm too smart to be a Muslim. Not even when I'm a baby. To be a Muslim for one second, unless you are born from a Muslim family, it's mean you have to see a doctor. Anyone who can be convinced that God will give versions because you believe in him, obviously that person is an idiot. Isn't it obvious that this is stupid? To believe in God, he will give you women to have sex with them. Why? Is God is a pimp? Is that Las Vegas? Where is love? You see, when, when we speak about the humanity, we say we are different from animals. When a man is promised a lot of women, that means there's no love there, there's, there's lust. This is just about sex. And as long as it's about sex, that's just pure pleasure with no love. That's when women, she is a sex toy for you. You sleep with women you do not know. They are made to sleep with them. And Muhammad, to make it more hilarious, he said that those women, they are uh, transparent, see-through, to the point you can see the marrow of their bones, as you see in the screen. Do you see it? Hey, Maria, let uh, give your uh, ID to the admin in Skype, and uh, maybe I can help you. You can talk to me only about one topic is about Islam. If you have a family member uh, and you can ask me a question, but I don't do have a, I don't like private conversation. Anyone will talk to me to ask me questions about something private. I will block you. <clears throat> do you see it? This promise alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a false man. I mean, what kind of a prophet, what kind of God? He will give me a woman, she is transparent to the point we can see through her bones. Ask yourself. What is that? And this is ugly, actually. This is stupid.
imagine I come to you and I have an image in my hand and I say if you believe in me I will I will give you uh, uh, this kind of woman and what kind of woman you will give me uh, let me show you what kind of woman brother yeah okay show me what uh, here we go this is the women I wish I will give it I will give you a brother This is even disgusting. This is stupid. But because Muhammad, he knew the Arab, they are possessed with with the, with white women, so he exager exaggerate about how white they are. They are so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. But that is disgusting. This is not. This is not something beautiful. You know what I mean? I don't know how many of you will convert to Islam now after you see this. Look at this position. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this one. Eef, mean, I'm getting sweaty now. Eef, it's not good to be single these days. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, I, I think I'm going to replace it because I feel like converting to Islam now. This is, this is too, ah, look at this one. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, it's winter. It's cold here, but it's getting really, really hot. Eef. Me, this is what the prophet he promised. This is exactly what the prophet he promised. Read it, huh? read it, read it. I'm not making things up. This is exactly what he said. He said they are transparent, you can see the marrow of their bones. I'm not making things up. This is a prophet of God. Those huris, they are so beautiful. And okay, what makes them beautiful? They are so beautiful to the point they are transparent you can see the mirror of their bones of their legs so who, you, know, you have to be really crazy to believe in such a cult you have to be a person who suffer from mental illness What is this? Furqan al haq Yeah, al Furqan, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so you know, like, you, you do not need to be a genius to notice right away that this is kind of film, film God. Additional to that, the stupidity. I mean, all of this is a stupidity, fairy tales, fictions. The prophet was bewitched by black magic. Somebody take care of from his, uh, <clears throat> and he control him. The prophet marrying six years old girl. Uh, you know the prophet saying crazy stuff that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl, and he will look like the mother. If the woman, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Uh, the sperm of the man coming from the backbone. The women have a sperm coming from the top of her ribs. I mean, this is crazy. You do not need to be. Uh, I mean, you do not need a Christian prince to do to confess to, to to prove to you that this is easy to see how stupid this cult is. And look here, you know, you will have eighty thousand little child in the heaven of Allah. Eighty thousand little child. Child abuse like the prophet who marry a child. Eighty thousand. Who in the world wanna believe in such a garbage that somebody because he prayed to God? God will abuse 80,000 human beings and they are children to make him happy. What, what the happiness in that to have 80,000 in my palace and they are children. So what Islam tried, this is why you see those ISIS, they are crazy. They want to go and uh, kill themselves. Why he want to live in this misery, in this earth? Why he want to live here? The, the women are waiting for him. And each time he have sex with them, Allah, he will put his finger and he will make them virgins. This is why they want to die. Huh? 
All right. <clears throat> what do you mean show me that picture? Just search for women x-ray in Google, you will find it. Muhammad, Muhammad, he is the most dangerous person ever in history. Because of him, the earth now is boiling, and this earth is going to go to a chaos. You see, the earth is moving forward to a very horrible end. Because the earth is going to be destroyed. If if this cult, if this cult stay believing in violence and stay believing in what Muhammad he teach, what do you expect about tomorrow? What will happen? Just look around you, open the news. Whatever Islam come, blood come with it. Erdogan is a Muslim attacking the Muslims in Syria, he will not slaughter them with no mercy. Those who they are Christians defending the Muslims, you believe it? Trying to protect the Muslims from Muslims. Because this is how Islam is. The strong eat the small, it's like a fish. The big fish eat the small fish. War in Saudi Arabia, war in Yemen, war with Iran, war with Afghanistan, war with, I mean, name a place. Yesterday, they arrested someone in France. He, he, uh, uh, some group, they are planning to do the same as 9-11, but in France. The day before it, they arrested a woman. She is from, uh, used to be from the Muslim Brotherhood. And uh, she was uh, planning to destroy the biggest church in, in, uh, in France. This is how this cult is. So this is not just about a person who believe in uh, versions. And, uh, no, this is affecting your life. Do you know how much money your government, which means how much tax you pay yourself just to protect yourself from Islam? You see, the hypocrite, the leaders, they don't say, they don't say we all have security in the airport because of who? Because of the Buddha? No. Because of the atheists? No. The Christians, the Jews? No. Because of Islam. This is the truth. But nobody want to say it. Before 9 11, I used to go to the airplane to the door and nobody asked me who you are, even though I am an Arab and I am a Middle Eastern. And I look like a terrorist, literally. That's why I don't look in the mirror, I get scared. I go in the elevator, I say good morning, nobody answers because people get intimidated. I say good morning again, nobody answer. Like, what the heck? Good morning, nobody answer. They start looking like at the ceiling and the ground, the guy who opens his phone, try to look there. I'm not there, like I, I am a ghost, nobody see me. Like, good morning, nobody answer. <clears throat> so, because of this cult, it's affecting your economy, it's affecting your life. Imagine how many billion dollars we spend just for airport security which can build the schools, can make your street better, can make your life better. This is from your money, you pay for it. Doesn't matter what country you are from. Go and look at a country like Indonesia, very beautiful country, amazing country. Actually, it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Look what Islam did to this country. This is the truth. You see, if I go to an area have Buddhas, I'm not afraid. You know, why they want to do anything to me? For sure, there's a criminals everywhere. There are thieves, there's a criminal. But this is what, not what we are talking about. At least those people, they want to kill you to take your money or etc. But this is different. There is somebody rejoice for attacking you just because you are from different belief. Yeah, look, look at Iran. Iran used to be the Persian, you know, the Persian one day, they used to be the equal empire, equal to the Roman. Very great, huge civilization. And look what happened to Iran today. Women, they are like, uh, you know, and by the way, in Iran, like the appearance that Iran is an Islamic state, but if you go in the street, you will see that people, they don't really care. This is why I say that Iran, I, I believe Iran is going to have a very great future. 
this this Islamic regime is going to collapse sooner or later it's just a matter of time but what happened when Islamic regime come it's like uh, uh, it's a glitch itself with the nails it's hard to take it off but the day is going to collapse is going to go forever and the Iranian they will reject Islam forever this is why I say the best way to make Muslims leave Islam is Islam you see when ISIS took over in Syria many Muslims they said okay so what they are Muslims they want to practice Sharia law okay but when they start practicing Sharia law, the Muslim they notice how ugly, disgusting the Sharia law, how stupid it is. So there is Muslims who support Islam as long they are not living under Islam because Islam is just a, like an ID for them. But the second they live under the stupid cult of Islam, they wish Islam will die. So the day ISIS they left, every man he is shaving his beard. Like what happened yesterday? You were a sheikh, today you are not because they are. Now, desperate to leave, they don't want this cult. This is why the Kurdish tens of this is why the Muslims in Syria they are upset from the, the Kurdish. Tens of thousands of the Kurdish they became a Christians because ISIS showed them an, a, a, a new image which they did not notice. Those Kurdish, all what they know about the Prophet, he was a wonderful man, the Quran is a good book, uh, you know, respect your parents. Okay, they are his born as a Muslim, that's it. But they don't know much. But when Islam came, the real Islam came, and the real practice of Islam came, and this is ISIS. You see those who say to you, ISIS is not Islam, they are a big fat liars. Name for me one thing ISIS did, Muhammad did not do. You cannot find. Muhammad, he ripped the women she is over the age of 80. Her name is Ummu Qurfa into two pieces by tying her into two camels. Muhammad kidnapped, Muhammad he raped, Muhammad he steal. Even Muhammad was accused of his followers that he stole an underwear. At that time, there was really not really underwear, but this is like underclothing. You can say, you can call it underwear. And the funny, Allah, he made a verse in the Quran saying, it's not for a prophet to be an underwear thief. Okay, where is the underwear? Hmm? Until now, this underwear is missing. And they are fighting about what? They are fighting over a theft, which means already those are, the Muslims now are fighting with their prophet. Who took this underwear? And the underwear was a theft. They are fighting over the theft. It was a red piece of a clothing, which all and the proof that Muhammad he took, you know, when when the verse in the Quran came supposedly from Allah, the God of Muhammad, to defend Muhammad that he is not the one who took it, it did not say who took it. Okay, hold on. If Allah is the God, and somebody accusing Muhammad that he took the underwear, shouldn't Allah say who is the one who took it? Don't Allah knew who took it? You know what I mean? So either Allah is not God, He do not know who took it, or Muhammad is the one who took it. This is why he could not say it. You know, this is the one who took it. <coughs> Look at this shame. When a some red velvet clothing, this is the Muslim word went missing in the day of Badr. some people began to say the prophet perhaps took it i mean can you believe it this is the prophet of god and what kind of people they are talking about we have a group of muslims who they are the best of the islam this is the beginning of islam they are accusing their prophet that he stole an underwear and now that in this underwear enter history and the news went all the way to allah and allah he went back to his office he grabbed his pen and he wrote saying, it's not Muhammad, you took the underwear. Do you see how important this underwear is? Do you see how important it is to the point Allah is talking about it? And then Allah, he says, it's not the prophet who did that. It's not for a prophet to steal. The whole thing is a theft. Secondly, if it is not Muhammad who did it, why Allah don't say to us who? That will be a miracle.
<clears throat> hmm? Why Allah did not say who took the, the underwear? If you go now to the Saudi website of Allah, you will find that there's a picture of a bikini. It says it's missing. Anyone he know he saw this bikini, it's red. Call this number, and you will have a great reward. What kind of God he do not know where is the underwear? He do not know. It's missing. Yeah, unsolved case. Call uh, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes. Whatever his name, God, he do not know where the underwear. Uh, so you know, God saying it is not Muhammad who took the underwear. Why you don't tell him who took it? <laughs> I mean, you see how silly this verse is. That will be good if Muhammad he told that Allah told me who took it, and then they go to his house and they find it. But he did not do that because obviously it is Muhammad he took it. The piece of a cloth, it was there. They stole it from the from, from the Arab. And now they are accusing Muhammad that he is the one who took it. And now Allah getting involved. Can Allah, is Allah is all knowledgeable? Obviously he is not all knowledgeable. <clears throat> this verse alone is enough to prove that Muhammad was a savage man and Allah is a fake God otherwise Allah should tell us who is the one who took the underwear if Allah did not want to tell us who took the underwear he have to explain why he's a thief he's against Allah supposedly why Allah is covering for him Maybe Aisha took it? <laughs> anyway, we have enough for today. I have. I hope you guys you have a good time. This video will disappear from my channel for some time until we load it in different channel. So uh, uh, search after like, let's say two or three hours maybe, how Muhammad became the last prophet and you can download it. Always subscribe for those who they are downloading my videos and sharing them in their channels So always you will stay updated when it is uh, 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 Like uh, posted can you cover the topic of uh, shirk in the Quran someday my friend the Islam is a religion of shirk You know what shirk shirk is to associate someone with God. This is what shirk Muhammad when they say the Muslim when they say shahada what they say they say the name of Allah and the name of Muhammad. This is associating the name of a man with the name of God. Not only that, they associate the knowledge of Muhammad with the knowledge of God. That is shirk. You remember when Muhammad, he says to his uh, companion, uh, do you know where the sun set? This is a statement. The Muslims always they say to Muhammad, Allah and his messengers knows best. But this is shirk. This is associating the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. And they are claiming that both of them, they are equal because Allah and his prophet, not Allah knows best. If Muhammad, he learned from Allah, then Muhammad should not accept the Muslim saying Allah and his messengers knows best. He should say, no, only Allah knows best. But look, Muhammad, he never refused people saying to him, Allah and his messengers knows best. All right. Uh, just having two been together is a sentence in a, is, isn't it a shirk uh, uh, no it is it is because you're associating the knowledge the ability of a man with God and you are witnessing for a man and God in a one sentence when you should only worship only Allah and let me show you the Jews confer you know uh, 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 fixing the stupidity of Muhammad uh, let me see if I can find the hadith. Maybe I can find it. Hold on. <coughs> Uh, 
You see, here we go. This, this is the first one. Look at this. A man is correcting Muhammad. You see, this is the Muslim hadith. Ibn Abbas said, a man, he said to the Prophet, whatever Allah wills and you will, he said, you have put an equal with Allah. You have put a man, an equal with Allah. It should be only if Allah will. <laughs> and not only that, this person is a Jew. Look what the Jew, he said to Muhammad. He said to him, you are a mushrikeen. You are, you, you Muslims are mushrikeen. Read carefully. Listen, listen, Muhammad Qasim. Read and love. Muhammad Qasim, shall I call you so we can love? Do you want me to call you? Huh? It's in the front of you. I want you to, I want you to read this one. Go ahead. Let me call you. Answer, let us, let us love. No, no. Okay. So, do you see? Do you see a Jew correcting your prophet? He's saying to him, "You are a mushrik." Let me ask you: Did your prophet agree with him or no? When the man he said to him, "You should not say that." Who's a Muslim? Want to say? When the Jewish man he said that to Muhammad, that you Muslims you are committing shirk. Was was this Jew right or he was wrong? Who's a Muslim on answer? Any Muslim? Who agree with this Jew? Is he right or he is wrong? Correcting Muhammad. Where is the Muslims? What happened? Look now they are taking a nap. Muhammad Qasim is not here. The Jew was wrong, guys. Be my witness. Muhammad uh, Qasim he said the Jews was wrong. Be my witness. Just to show you how hypocrite they are. Will your prophet he agree with him? <laughs> your prophet he says from now on, don't say that. <laughs> He just said the Jew is wrong. <laughs> he just said the Jew was wrong, but Muhammad, he agreed with him, and he told him from now on, do what the Jews said. Do you see it? Muhammad, he said to them from now on, don't say that which mean do as the Jew he said let us go hold on not only that actually uh, he, he uh, 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 let me see if I can find the other hadith where it's uh, more clear. Let us see this one. Yeah, I want the whole story, not part of it. Just wait. <clears throat> Here we go. Read and love. The Prophet, he ordered them to do the same as the Jew, he said. And Mr. Muhammad Qasim, he said, the Jew was wrong. Do you see it, guys? Read carefully. It was narrated from Abdullah ibn Yasser, from Qutada, that a woman from Juhayna, that a Jew came to the Prophet and said, who came? A Jew. Do you see it, people? Let me take the, the text of this guy. A Jew he came and he said to Muhammad, You Muslims, you say that you are putting equal to Allah, associating others with Him. You say whatever Allah wills and you will. 
and you say by the Kaaba you see, my Muslim Muhammad and his followers they swear by the Kaaba at that time so the Prophet commanded them if they wanted to swear an oath to say by the Lord of the Kaaba and to say whatever Allah will then what you will do you see it so Muhammad he changed his religion just because of a Jew saying that you believe it Muhammad he changed the way he act the way he do things the way he believe by the correction of a Jew walking by and Muhammad Qasim he witnessed saying that the Jew was wrong all of you saw what uh, what Muhammad Qasim he said that's mean Muhammad is wrong too because if Muhammad agree with the wrong and he do what he said obviously Muhammad is wrong but uh, he will search it and he will get back to me it's too late my friend what to uh, search it you, what about you say to me I will search it before you answer and get back to me I will search it and get back to you now he want to search it a second ago the Jew was wrong the hypocrisy hypocrisy you know now he want to search it hmm. I'm going to search it I'm going to back to you because simply I was a fool and I was giving you an answer with could be correct and as long the prophet he agree with the dude it means the dude was not wrong thank you very much <laughs> oh boy the same as Abbas today he was correcting the prophet the prophet doesn't make sense it's not it's not logical that he ate uh, you know etc and then he say he is dying from poison and then after I said to him so you are saying your prophet he have no logic at the end you have to say maybe the hadith have a problem mad stupid cult anyway guys thank you for being here I have enough headache for today I will try to be live on air tomorrow if not for sure it will be Sunday because we have dr. Hassan he is going to come to debate me and you know dr. Hassan is very serious doctor He's very strong in knowledge and he will prove to us that Quran is a book of science so we will have a really very interesting topic tomorrow uh, not tomorrow the day after in uh, Sunday and uh, now usually I say maybe I th sometimes I think I'm not going to go live I want to take a break but usually I cannot really I mean I get tempted to go and beat this cult so let us see if I can resist until this until, until Sunday or not don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn your option uh, notification on uh, and uh, uh, watch my post in patreon because I post when I'm going to go live or you can subscribe to an Instagram if you have an account there you can subscribe to my account because most of the time I post and I say I'm going live on air join us if you care so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is stupid literally not only false made by the man for the foolish man Thank you.